<laughs> Hello, and welcome to another stream. Let's see, what is today? It is Monday, May 25th of 2020, and we're going to be working some more on Pre-Commit CI today. We've got a lot of people to say hello to, because y'all showed up early today. Uh, hey, what's up, Andrew Lane X, and Tube Worm, and Jackie Alcine. Hello, hello. And Shaz Robot, who says, please hand over your .env, it's only fair. Uh, yeah, if... <laughs> Um, she has tuned into Juice's stream yesterday, and um, she had her repo public on GitHub, and uh, yeah, I had some fun with her OAuth token. Hey, what's up, Michaela? And uh, I already said hi to you, Andrew Lane. You don't, you don't get another hi. Um, hey, what's up, Gosu Teddy? Hello, hello. Um, Tubum says, when will you whip out your fancy keyboard? It's actually right there. Uh, I've been, I've been, I've been working on getting better at it. Uh, I, I actually started out pretty fine. Like the first, um, the first typing test that I did on it, I, I ripped it in half. Yeah. <laughs> the first typing test I did on it, I got like 97 words a minute, which is still pretty fucking good. Um, it's not quite my like normal typing speed, but it's it's. Um, it's good. Gets the job done. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the first stream that I'm going to do with that is going to be Saturday. So you guys want to tune in to my hashtag sponsored uh, <laughs> Kinesis keyboard stream. That'll be on Saturday. I'll probably just be doing normal stuff, but um, I don't know. There's, there's probably going to be more people in chat because the... Uh, Kinesis account is gonna like retweet and stuff, so it should be it should be kind of cool. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I've realized, oh man, I've realized that I super cheat. Oh, I forgot my keyboard cam. All right, let me. I'm all over the place today. I did not get properly set up. Um, I was recording a video right before stream, so, and in order to record a video, I have to turn off my keyboard cam because nobody wants to see that on a video. But you guys kind of want to see it on the stream. Oh, we're not even on the right. Dang it. Hold on a sec. <laughs> uh, activate. Hey, there we go. It was easy. It's almost in the right spot. Easy. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do a stream on Saturday. I don't know what I'm gonna work on then, but I will be using my new keyboard, which will be fun. Uh, hey, what's up, Koenig? Hello, hello. Mikhail says, what's up, nerds? <laughs> Andrew says, I, I'm ahead up. Uh, he ripped it in half. Yeah. So it's a it's a split keyboard. It's the... Uh... Oh, no, no, stop, stop. Wait, what is it called? Uh, Kinesis Freestyle Pro. So this is the keyboard that they sent to me. It's a, it's a split keyboard. You can adjust the uh, width and the, the tenting, which is how angled your hands are. Um, and it's supposed to like give you a more natural keyboard experience instead of like cramping your hands together. But I don't know, I, I used it, kind of like it. Um, but I realized I cheat super hard. So when I type Y's, especially when I type like dot pi, like T dot P Y is what I do, but you're supposed to use Y with this hand. So that's that's gonna be the biggest fuck up hard thing for me also the arrow keys are in a weird spot on that keyboard so i'm also gonna suck up those but do a stream with the binary keyboard <laughs> yeah so i'm just gonna do an entire stream where we just type ones and zeros over and over on my little babby binary keyboard you guys would really not like that because this click is super loud and it gets super annoying pretty quickly but yeah, that would be pretty funny too. <clears throat> Yetimus says, what's with the broken keyboard? It's, it's intentionally like that. Olden Knackard says, what is your average typing speed? Asking as the fastest two finger typer in the West. Um, so I cheat a little bit when I type, but I can usually hit about 120, 120 words per minute, which is pretty good. Uh, Trindesai says, hey Anthony, is it possible to run one hook from pre-commit only by name? Uh, for example, pre-commit flake 8. Yes. Yes. Uh, you can do pre-commit run flake 8 dash all files. Oops. 
and this will run flake eight against all the files. If you only want to get run against staged files, you just do pre-commit run flake eight. And I believe this is covered in the docs. Uh, yeah. Pre-commit run flake eight. Run the flake eight hook against all staged files. Um, I don't know why this is an example because it should just say pre-commit run dash dash all files. That would make way more sense than this silly example here. But whatever. Um, but yeah, you can use a positional argument as the hook to run for flake eight or for pre-commit. Tuberm says, just like rip pants, you can buy, so you don't have to rip them yourself. You can buy a broken keyboard, you don't have to break yourself. Uh, now that you can't type wise, your wisdom score has dropped. Oh no, my, my wisdoms, where did they go? Tuberm um, says, this is the point where I'd say WPM doesn't matter for programming, but I've seen the way you code, so it's true. Ooh. I like the trashy mode. That's good. That's a good one. But anyway, yeah, we'll we'll be we'll be streaming with this. Um, I've set it up so that uh, there's a like armrest attachment that goes on it, which is a wrist wrist rest. I don't know. You're not supposed to rest your wrists when you type, but I definitely do. You're supposed to like, you know, have have your wrists up. But I <laughs> I lean them on my desk because fuck it, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll be doing a stream on Saturday with that. Um, Super says, I just use a fancy ID to write the code for me and restart GoPlus every five minutes because it's trash. I don't know what that is, but I will take your word for it. Chazrobot says, but that's why I have a wrist rest, I see. Okay, so I did a couple of things since last time. So last time we worked on this patch and we merged this patch. Um... This one, what did this one do? Uh, oh yeah, we, we created this dead snakes GitHub action and then I applied it to PyTest. Um, so I changed 3.9 dev and we started using this new action here, which is which is pretty straightforward. Uh, but I merged that since since last stream. Uh, this was an interesting an interesting bug. Uh, someone found that PyUpgrade's open rewriter would sometimes mistakenly s transpose this encoding argument. This is actually an error, interestingly. So I'm not sure why this code is working in their example, but I didn't bother figuring it out. I just fixed it instead, because who cares? <laughs> but yeah, so I, like, I was like, that code is broken, uh, but PyUpgrade shouldn't break it further. And so this is a pretty easy patch. I basically just required that there's, if it's removing the argument, there has to be only two arguments. Um, and if it's replacing the argument, it can do whatever. So um, if there are two arguments then it's, and, and it's a removal, then do that. Otherwise for the replaces, it can do any of them. So that was easy. I wrote a little test that makes sure that it doesn't break that as well. That was very straightforward. Angel Next says, this song sounds like Windows. Oh, Nalage here? Is he gonna complain? Where are you at, Nalage? He's uh, he's not he's not in the stream. He's uh, slacking on the simpin. It's named after Joseph Gopliz, the creator of Go. No, that's that's Rob Pike. That's that uh, that's that's that derp. <laughs> hey, what's up, JB Pratt? Hello, hello. Oh, did I forget to say hi to someone? I feel like. I said hi to everyone. Anyway, if I missed you, say hi again. I'll say hi to you. Shazer, what says bang blame? Yeah. Um, with Juice's bot, that spits out. Um, it is an allergen's fault, which is pretty funny. Uh, so yeah. Oh, it's like it's like half of an ubu here. Um. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Codier? Hello, hello. You are also in Juice's stream. Hey, what's up, Genwasher18? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope your day is going well. Two thirds is half. Oh, <laughs> well, it's like one eyeball of the uwu, you know? Like if you if you covered up half the face, I think you would still be able to see the the uwu. I guess it'd be UV. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fair. Fire. That's that's fair, Julian. That's fair. Okay. But anyway, I fixed this. Super easy patch. Um. 
let's see, how long did it take me to do this? 1.44 p.m. till... Uh, till 2.04 p.m. So 20 minutes to fix. I'd say that's pretty good turnaround time. Uh, oh, and then we fixed a bug. This was reported in Discord. Um, that <laughs> this is actually <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty derpy. Um, also, I couldn't like completely get it to reproduce in macOS uh, consistently. So let's see if we can reproduce this. Uh, there's a tab clean in my XOS. Okay, so this has the fix already. Um, oh, that beeping is really annoying. I wish it would stop. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and don't worry about the colors. The colors are a bug in, in macOS. Um, but if you full screened Babby due to some weird bug in the curses implementation or the terminal implementation or who knows, some, somewhere on macOS, um, when you full screen this, it crashes <laughs> spectacularly. Also, if you unfull screen it, it does the same thing. So if you start in full screen and you shrink it, it also crashes. Um, but anyway, I, I fixed this. It was pretty... It's pretty easy. Uh, I basically was just like, hmm, what happens if we retry? And a retry was sufficient to uh, pave over this problem. So you can now full screen and unfull screen in macOS using terminal with Babby. <laughs> ding. Yeah, sorry about the dings, guys. How loud are they? I hope they're not like super loud. Uh, they're kind of loud. All right, well, we'll, we'll try and avoid the dings. I've turned them off in my VM, so they at least don't ding there. He just keeps leveling up, yeah. <laughs> all that, all that programming XP. Um, and then I have one other pull request. This one was from, I made a, I made a video this morning. Um, and so this is, spoilers, the code that I wrote for the video. Um, I needed to make a pull request so that I could actually demo it, but. It's a small GitHub action which runs a bunch of Python versions on Windows and Ubuntu and runs pre-commit. Um, but yeah, you can check that out on youtube.com slash Anthony Wright's code. <laughs> hey, what's up, rollers? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, I think that's all of the recap. Um, did I do anything else? <laughs> uh... Messed mess with some Twitch bots, um, but no, I didn't do anything else. <clears throat> I wonder what level you would be if you got XP from programming. I mean, wouldn't I be max level, please? <laughs> no, maybe, maybe I wouldn't be max level. Okay, I don't remember what we were working on last time with the pre-commit stuff. Um, we were somewhere at some point. Is there a level cap? I don't know. My cash. What else do we have to get ignore here? That's it. Oh, probably VM. <clears throat> Juice says messed with some Twitch bots equals 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 terrorized staffer. Yeah, but it was fun right? It was amusing, right? At least. That's what counts. Shazar what says, did you help Juice fix that stuff after stream? Yeah, uh, I helped her rebase. Oh, that's actually why I have it cloned right here. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, I helped her rebase the branch to remove the creds and other stuff from that. Um... Zeton says, which team were you on at Lyft? I was on the... Developer experience team, so an in infrastructure. Uh, and not like public facing developer experience, like internal facing developer experience. Because uh, <laughs> Lyft doesn't really do public developer experience. They're just like, good luck with our API. I guess there's probably some people to contact, but like, there isn't like a public developer relations sort of dealio there. It's kind of. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> here's, here's an API, GLHF. Um, okay, but if I remember correctly, we were working on the this file. And so, do 
Do I have my diagram? <clears throat> Let me show you where we're at. <laughs> Uh, where the fuck is it? There it is. So I'm building a CI system um, to run pre-commits, but better. Uh, so if you're not familiar with pre-commit, pre-commit.com. <laughs> it is a linter and code formatter framework thingy thing. You basically set up a set of repositories and versions and hooks and stuff. And it knows how to work with Git hooks, and it knows how to install those and run them. <clears throat> but yeah, that's pre-commit. And this is a CI system that's purpose-built for this. Triple equals is pronounced trequal. <laughs> oh, that's good. Adrian X says, so you're just going to ignore my comment. I'm not going to review your pull request right now. Also, you added an option. I told you not to add an option, so. Also, you said your code wasn't complete because something was broken with tap size. I also didn't review it for that. But, um, yeah. I didn't I didn't ignore you. Well, I did ignore you. You ignored my best chest hair, too. Yeah, I guess you can kind of see it there. That's not to us, right? That's fine. Uh, FrozenVV says, In throughout's code, hi. What do you use for a virtual machine? I use um, VirtualBox and... I have a video about this on my YouTube if you want to see how I set up my virtual machines. Uh, hey, what's up, PsyQ? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Oh, we got the drop song super early today. Some uh, some good shit. Okay, here's the, here's the video for that. Um, so you can check that out. That's how I set up my virtual machine. <clears throat> Is pre-commit based on pluggy? No. Um, there's no need for it. It doesn't really help me here. Uh, you didn't say I shouldn't. You said I should add a vim command. Pretty sure I used the word instead, <laughs> but I could be wrong. Uh, now I gotta scroll back in Discord. Make me actually check myself here. Uh... Uh... Yeah, I said, I think colon tab size two or whatever would be preferable. Which, uh implies an alternative. <laughs> I can see how it's ambiguous, though. Um, uh, David Pratt says, I did it weeks ago. Which thing? Which which thing did you do weeks ago? I've lost the context already. Uh, White Buggy says, no, undo another button. <laughs> You'll have to subscribe to my OnlyFans for that, I eat bogeys. Juice says, like I said, your words per minute constitutes a workout, which means you can wear, you can just wear hot pants, I'm pretty sure. I mean, implying that I'm wearing pants right now. <laughs> uh, I bogey says, is your... Is your OF the same as your Twitch name? My YouTube is the same as my Twitch. So, here's the problem. <laughs> Not all of my uh, names are consistent. So, like, Twitter has a name limit. So, I couldn't be Anthony Wright's code. I could have been Anthony Wright's cod. Oh, my OnlyFans. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I see. Um, I actually haven't set it up yet. Um, yet implies that I will still do it, but I don't know if that'll actually happen. Sorry, I'm looking around because my camera's in the way. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't I don't know what it'll be. We'll we'll see. Um, but yeah, my my YouTube my Twitter would have been Anthony Wright's COD, and I would have been a nice uh, you know fishing stream. <clears throat> Shazer what says I thought this was a good Christian coding stream. Oof, oof, buddy. Um, 
Miguel says, okay, for real though, do people really go pantsless at home? I see memes about it all the time with all the work from home stuff, but I feel weird without wearing them. Mine have pockets and everything. Um, from March until I was laid off, uh, I don't think I got dressed like once, like at all. Cause what's, what the fuck's the point? Um, no one has to know, right? No one has to know. Right? <laughs> it's, it's um, comfy. It's my own fucking house, right? The only way they would know is if I dialed into video conferences with my camera on, but why would I turn my camera on? <laughs> uh, fishing stream. Implying Anthony even owns pants. Yeah, true. <laughs> I definitely own pants. Can you actually? Oh, you can't see them. They're like, uh, oh, that one? That way. They're like right there, but you can't see them because they're slightly off camera. Uh, news reporters poofed. <laughs> Middle Storm says, It's called efficiency, less time slash effort getting dressed, less water and electricity used washing, etc. Win, win, win. That's that's how I like to, to put it. Okay, but anyway, this is kind of the diagram of the CI system that I'm building. Um, it's basically, well, the, the, the main goal of it is around pull requests and validation there. We'll, we'll also be building a... Uh, an auto fixer thinger, but that's not what I'm focusing on for like the V000 <laughs> version of this. I just want to get like checks working and then fixes after that. And then the rest of the feature is built on top of it. And so the basic flow of how things are going to work is someone's going to create a pull request. GitHub is going to call our web server bit with a webhook. Uh, that webhook is first going to fire off to our builder. This is going to build all of the pre-command environments. You'll notice in this output here, here, uh, you'll notice that we have to do some building before we can run them. Um, the nice thing about how my CI system is going to be set up is only the first time a person installs a particular hook set will it be built. It'll be cached ever ever after that. Um, so we'll, we'll only incur builds once and be able to have like super speedy caches after that. <coughs> uh, but this, this builder component still needs to manage and figure all that stuff out. Oh man. I hope I'm not losing my voice, but kind of feels like that. <clears throat> but anyway, so we're gonna be working on this builder component today. I kind of have like the interface for it set up and the ideas there, but the implementation is <laughs> far from there. Um, but yeah, once the builder has said like, okay, cool, we've made sure all this stuff is built, um, then the, you know, the system, the arrows don't exactly go this way, but the system will then hand it off to the thing that runs those and it will, you know, run each of the hooks against the files and um, produce status outputs from that. And then that'll write back to GitHub and say uh, pass or fail or whatever. And there's a separate component that I want to build later that will kind of work like Dependabot to uh, create pull requests and like kind of kind of start this whole cycle. But that's what we're working on. <clears throat> Mr. Compton says you left Lyft. Uh, I mean, not not on my own accord. <laughs> I was part of the layoffs. Um, I'm so sorry for the clickbait title on the stream today. I, I wanted to see if it would change anything. Um, so far, we have about the same number of viewers as I usually get. So <coughs> seems like clickbait doesn't do all that much. But anyway, <laughs> uh, Trend SY says, do you use Cookie Cutter for setting up new library repos? Um, I really should use something like cookie cutter. I don't really like cookie cutter myself. Uh, so when I set up a new repo, I do this, I get init X and then I LSA all some other repository that I have. <laughs> and then I CP those files. Upgrade Azure Pipelines.yml, uh, get ignore license precommit config.yml, readme.md, requirements dev.tech, setup.cfg, setup.py, and talks.i9. So I just copy all those files along and 
Empty initial commit. <coughs> I don't know why I've got a cough today. That really sucks. Um, but yeah, then you go through each of these and update them. So I, I don't really use um, cookie cutter for this. I just <laughs> copy and paste what past Anthony did. But I do plan to do a video at some point where, um, actually I can, video idea, <clears throat> project setup. Although I think I already put that in my list, but oh well. But no, I don't use cookie cutter. Mr. Compton says, will a MacBook Air be enough to do coding? Uh, it depends on what you're doing, but usually I would say yes. Uh, <clears throat> like, especially if you're just using a terminal editor. If you're trying to run like, you know, two copies of IntelliJ, a MacBook Air might be a little bit strained on resources. But, um, yeah, it should be fine, I guess. Alex says, X lift tech lead. Yes, that's true. It is indeed true. Mr. Compton says, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, it, it happens though. Knowledge says, but live isn't Fang, so who'd care? I still don't know it. I see this acronym all the time, and I just don't know what it means. Oh, Facebook, Amazon, Apple. Who's N? Netflix and Google. I see. Oh, well, I'm going to forget this immediately, but I see this all over the place. But now, now I understand. <clears throat> Jay Mickey says, X lift and dropping. I don't know what that word is either. Why am I learning words today? <laughs> Goss, which is English dialect to spit. Hmm. Oh, like gossip, I see. I get it. Okay, well, learn, learn something, learn something every day, I guess. <clears throat> Specs here says, I've gotten that AG of Fang, I think. Too many fucking acronyms. Uh, is that Amazon and Google? Because you've worked there? Hmm. Kale says, get statsu. Is that Japanese? <laughs> right? Uh, Netflix. Yes, Citan. Uh, Trin says, got a new job yet then? <laughs> This is my new job for now. <laughs> no, I don't have a new job. My plan is to um, is to try and work on this project and get it completed, mostly for myself, but there's like a chance that I could monetize it and like maybe make something bigger out of it. Um, but that's kind of like a pipe dream. I don't expect it to happen. I mostly like, if I build this and I'm the only one that uses it, like I'll be happy with it because I wanted to build this anyway. But if um, something better happens out of it, then you know, extra bonus. But I, I've got some time to like, you know, do my own thing for a while and not really worry too much about, uh, about things, I guess. Um, and it, it'll be, it'll be a good, take some time away from someone else's agenda for a while. But I don't have a new job. It says, I thought they meant FOSS. Oh. Yo, it could be, it could be, uh, some Foss Goss. <laughs> uh, now it just says you worked for Apple Juice. <laughs> no, it's the Amazons. Because the, the Twitches. Uh, Jamie says, I unironically wouldn't want to work at any of them. Metal Storm says Ant CI. It could be Ant CI. Is it, there probably already is an ant CI though. Yeah. Patchy ant CI CD tools. It's taken already. Can't do it. Um, but I do own precommitci.com, so I've got a domain already. <laughs> you know the project is legit or is definitely going to fail uh, when <laughs> you buy a fucking domain for it. Uh, Uh, they make you say Facebook, Google, and Amazon would be a hell no 
based purely on my personal moral system, yeah. Hey, what's up, Philip Way? Uh, Philip Way is the um, donator of the keyboard. So welcome back, friend. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Juan Anderson says, my morals stopped at the highest bidder. You've been here before. Your name looks so familiar, but I feel like you haven't been here in a really long time. How long have you so you follow age, Mr. Juan, oh, that's Mr. Compton. <laughs> Mr. Juan Anderson. Seven months, huh. Hmm, maybe I'm just misremembering. Um. <clears throat> Netflix and Apple would be no, because I've heard some really questionable shit about engineering culture, but you could make a shit ton of money in Netflix. <laughs> Uh, Job Avoider says, I've bought so many domains I've never used over the years. I think I'm mostly using all of mine. Let me, let me log into Cloudflare over here, just in case it shows something that's not so, not so great. Now we're gonna have to two-factor, do that real quick. And then I'll show you guys my domains. Backups password reminder. What are you doing, Authy? Well, I typed in a, a two-factor code. Oh, these are fine. Yeah, I can show you guys this. Um, these are these are my current domains configured through Cloudflare. I have one other domain that's not through Cloudflare, which is the pre-commit CI one. This one I'm pretty sure I bought drunk to make like an April Fool's joke. Winterrunner.com goes to pre-commit. <laughs> Something just toppled in my house. Eh, that's a problem for future me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Made a really loud noise though. Um, but these are these are my domains. Um, but yeah, not not too not too out there. Not too out there. <clears throat> Any domain squatters in the chat? <laughs> Storm says, it's when you buy a domain and then three years later you actually put something up there that you've been paying for the domain the whole time. Yeah. Uh, Philip says, hello. Health problems have been away. Doing good despite... How are you doing? You left lip. Yes. Um, I was part of the recent layoffs, so... Um, yeah, I'm doing my own thing for a while now. <laughs> but other than that, I'm doing great. Um, yeah. I've, I've been streaming a lot more and working on a lot of cool stuff and you know spending some more time on my like YouTube channel and I don't know it's been fun <clears throat> knowledge says how many people in here are making CLMs what is a CLM what is a CLM I don't know what a CLM is knowledge You'll have to, uh... Philip Way has been following for one year and 28 days. Dang. That's a lot. Um, hey, what's up, watermelon brain? Hello, hello. Metal Storm says, getting swatted <laughs> in before flashbang. Hey, what's up, the core in 1896? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. FBI, open up. We got him. <laughs> uh, Java Voter says, did you like Lyft when you were there? Yes, Lyft was great. Um, although there were parts of it that were, hmm, that were, hmm, there were definitely parts of it that were, hmm, but for the most part, Lyft was, Lyft was good. Um, towards the end, I kind of noticed that things were falling apart, so it really didn't surprise me at the end, but, uh, Junathany says, Jun, Jun, Anthony, Jun, June says, were you at Lyft Seattle? No, I was in San Francisco. Um, Seattle is actually the only office, the only engineering office that I'd never visited. <laughs> I really wanted to visit. I was supposed to visit this year. Um, but, you know, fucking global pandemic will throw a wrench in basically all plans. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sarcastic Dante? Hello, hello. Career limiting maneuver. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, what's up, Stanislav? Hello, hello. Into the next says, when did you start streaming? Ooh. 
That is a good question. I know the first YouTube video of my stream I uploaded in January of 2019, but um, I was streaming before that. I just wasn't uploading to YouTube because um, I was on my, I was on my old computer, and if I recorded and streamed at the same time, there was a good chance it was gonna blue screen, and then I was just gonna lose all my viewers, which happened like basically every stream until my computer just straight up died. Um, but yeah, I think I started streaming in like September of 2018. Um, well, I started streaming programming then. I did a few like one-off video game streams before that, but nobody watches video game streams of mine. So <laughs> programming has kind of been my, my, my niche. <clears throat> she says throw a wrench sounds like code to ban me. <laughs> All right, because you've got the staff icon, which is a wrench. <sighs> Incoming shit talking. No, we're not gonna. We're hopefully not gonna do any shit talking today. It's really hot today, and I say it's really hot, but it's not actually that hot in San Mateo. But it's, you know, anything above like seventy-five is like miserable to me. So I'm like very warm. That's why my face is super flushed. I'm like, I'm, st I'm struggling. I'm struggling here. But hopefully by Saturday, things will be better. Um, oh, it's supposed to rain next weekend. That's that's interesting. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, it's it's warm here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah, it's like 20, 27 ish, 28 ish Celsius for those in non freedom units. Uh. Here you have Heatwave, yes, I do. Phoebe Pratt says, I don't have to go to reinvent this here, feels good. Hey, what's up, El Junti? Hello, hello. Trind says, uh, we'll, let, we'll allow that. <clears throat> Trind says, what did you say? Where's your message? I lost it because I was allowing fucking Americans to be in the chat. <laughs> uh, you don't bother an IDE at all? Nope. I used to use IntelliJ, and before that I used Eclipse, and before that I used Visual Studio. Proper, not Visual Studio Code, because it didn't even exist. But yeah, now I use my own text editor called Babby, which if you check out the chat, there's a link to that there. Hey, what's up, Off the Band? Hello, hello. Uh, Andrew the Next says, gotta go for real this time. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you around in the future. Stanislav says, what video games do you enjoy, currently enjoy playing? Um, I've been playing some Minecraft recently, some Sky Factory 4, some some modded with friends. Um, but most of that's been streaming on my friend Shoddy57's channel, um, where we'll hop in voice chat and play around with that, which will be fine. <clears throat> Juice says, if you give me VIP, I'll have four badges. Uh, how about I give you this one? Have that badge instead. <laughs> um, Knowledge says Michiganders don't like heat. I guess. I mean, to be fair, it's warmer in Michigan usually than it is in the Bay Area, but I just don't like being warm. So if I'm cold, I can like put stuff on to be warmer. But if you're warm, there's nothing you can do. You're just kind of like a pile, a puddle of sweat, and there's. It's, just fucking sucks. Uh, Hunger Hunger Hippo says, says it's gonna be a high of 88 tomorrow for you. Bet that's gonna be a struggle. It's going to be a big struggle. We're gonna, I'm <laughs> probably not gonna be streaming tomorrow because I'm gonna be like laying on the ground with fans pointing at me. That'll be my life. Uh, I miss conferences. Yeah, conferences are good. Um, <clears throat> analogy will be so chilly. Wait, isn't I thought the badge limit was was three, but you can actually have four? Huh. That's cool, I guess. Uh the off band says What, did you make your own text editor? Yes, I did make my own text editor. It's called Babby. Um this is this is Babby. It's it's a text editor. It has the same keyboard shortcuts as Nano. Um ish. It has some additional ones, but it uses the syntax highlighting approach that VS Code and TextMate and all those other ones use. Um, so you can see this is like the VS Code theme, but in the terminal. Hey, what's up, uh, Visigo Tenue? 
I definitely screwed that up. But thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, but it also has like fun things like Vim commands. So if you wanted to like you know, grab your imports and sort them, um, which looks a little silly, but whatever. Um, but you know, there's there's a few Vim commands in in Babby, which is which is kind of fun. Um. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, Unlux McGee? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Mr. Juan Anderson says, Michigan has way more extreme weather on both ends than the Bay Area. I don't understand why no house has AC in the Bay Area, though. Yeah, that's that's what actually sucks. If there was AC, I would not be complaining. I would just turn on the AC and it would be fine. She says, just shave your chest hair. Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm sure that's what's making the difference in uh, <laughs> why I'm warm and cold. It's like taking off a sweater. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Just go to the office where AC is. It's, uh, it's one yikes. <clears throat> Only staffers can have four. Oh, I see. Fancy. I guess that makes sense because you probably can't hide the staff badge. Uh, knowledge says, and people wonder why I hide badges and emotes. Hmm. Because the power is going to go to Jesus' head? I don't think so. Jay Mickey says, what does VIP give you? I don't think it gives you anything. Uh, oh, actually, I think I have it so that VIP has reduced rate limit. I think that's the only thing that it granted. Uh, and the only reason I did that was so that I my bot didn't get rate limited. <laughs> but then we were testing we were testing badges, and so I gave somebody that was not my bot. VIP, which is knowledge. Um... AC is bad for the planet, says Astoria PZ. You're right, it is bad for the planet. Any amount of, you know, using electricity is technically bad for the planet, because we're just trudging onwards towards entropy death. And yeah, because it's thermodynamics. <clears throat> uh, a singular yike. Yeah. PewWTD says, have you tried out the new keyboard? Yes, I have. It's actually sitting over there. Over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have tried it out. I have learned that I cheat on the Y character. Uh, I use the wrong hand for it. But other than that, it's, it's fun. Mickey says, I love it when streamers remind me of the impending doom of all things. <laughs> of all living things, yeah. We're all gonna fucking die someday. And there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, so I was working on this last time, and I had an idea off off stream. Oh, I gotta move this so it doesn't vibe. <clears throat> Somebody ping me on Discord. Um, <clears throat> I did I did check Discord. I didn't check I didn't check my channel. Uh, nice clean chat without... Oh, I see. You don't like the badges. It's fine. It's fine knowledge. I like the badges, so I'm gonna keep the badges. Uh... Um... What am I missing? But yeah, I... I it's working out. Uh, I'm gonna do my first stream with the Kinesis on Saturday. So if you guys want to stop by and watch me do a uh, Kinesis stream Then that will be a thing. So I'm gonna do a terrible thing here. Um, I'm gonna use inheritance to uh, Customize the behavior of this class. It's not a public class, but I'm the other side of the not public class, so It's fine, right? <laughs> It's fine to fuck with implementation detail if I'm the only one that's going to be paying by it. Um, yeah, we're basically... Hmm, how did I want to do this? How did I want to do this? Um, I believe it was... Where is that function? This function. Uh, oh, actually, this function doesn't need any special stuff. Why did I think this? Why did I think this needed stuff? Oh, we need it here. Okay.
Yeah, we need this this whole thing. Okay, so this is where we need our fake store. <sighs> I don't know what behavior we're gonna need there, but we're gonna call this this underscored function. <laughs> Commits dot repository import uh, cloned repository hooks, and we also need non clones. So down here, the Discord invite is coming up as invalid. What the fuck? I fixed it. <laughs> Do I need to fix it again? Uh. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me see. Oh, it expires in one day. Fucking. Sorry, that's my bad. Let me fix that. Okay. So, let me, let me, let me, let me. Yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Apparently, the default is an expiring link. Discord. Discord link to a non expiring Okay, so that should be up to date. Oh, I need to update my channel as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was such a weird noise that I just made. Why did I do that? Uh. <laughs> uh. God, it was way worse hearing it back. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Anyway, that should be that should be fixed now. <laughs> um, hey, what's up, Gang Kiss Con? That's that's clever. I like that. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. And Danilash45, thank you as well for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> hey, what's up, RKJ? Hello, hello. We got to hear it twice, too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> clipped and shipped. Thank you, Shaz. Thanks for clipping that. That one's, that one's definitely needed to be clipped. <clears throat> AJ says, I joined just in time to hear that. <laughs> Yike. Hey, what's up, Parset? Hello, hello. Welcome back. What was I doing? Uh, oh, we're fixing that. We're going back to here. Uh, we need this tab to look at how that works. Okay, so in order to do the builder portion, portion there's two entities that I set up last time. Builder storage, no. Builder data store. Okay, so yeah, there's the repository entity, there is, and there's the environment entity. This is the like installed state of pre-commit, and this is the just the clone of the repository. And so what I'm trying to build today is a script that makes sure that all of those are populated fully. And, um, and yes. Um, um, um. B says, hi, dude. Do you know basic math? I fucking hope I know basic math. If I don't know basic math, then we're going to have some problems. Some problems. Uh, some problems. But, uh, yes, yeah, so I do know basic math. Why is f of x transformed to f of x plus 2 is shifted to the left and not the right. Uh, well, it's actually shifted up. It's, sh it's shifted up, which looks like a shift to the left, but it's it's actually up and down, because the um, the um, yeah, it's <laughs> shifted up. <laughs> the same reason for like. Um, you know, 
y equals x squared. y equals x squared plus 2. We'll take that and shift it up by 2. Do I know why? Because that's just that's just how things work, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Jesse Watt says, born too late for exploring the Earth, born too early to smoke a bong on Mars, born just in time to hear Anthony make that weird fucking noise. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Nessan says, 2 plus 2 equals 5. Yes, for very large values of 2, that is true. Angus Khan says, y equals mx plus b. Yes. <clears throat> Argument shift does not equal value shift. What do you mean? You mean as you're subbing x plus 2 into the argument of x? x prime? <laughs> hey, what's up, Taurus? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Old Knackard says, I don't know basic math. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong with trying to learn programming. I failed it twice in high school. So, I don't think you really need to know much math to do programming. Unless you're specifically in a programming field that needs math. Like if you're doing you know, stats for, for stuff, what you're doing, like, you know, actual engineering. Because <laughs> what I do is definitely not actual engineering. Um, then you might need some math. <clears throat> oh, f of x plus 2. I thought you meant, like, subbing a, a function that is x plus 2. I get you. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. It's the opposite. Okay, Jay, this isn't data science. Yeah. Got the, got the hisses in the chats. Um, I'm actually out of water, and since it's really hot, I'm going to go fill up my water. So I will be right back, and we'll continue working on this. But I think I'm close. Well, we were close last time, but <laughs> I think we were pretty close to... Uh, Figuring out what this UGG is and having it work properly. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Uh, this one. back. I've got my water. Hey, what's up, mine? 37388. Welcome, welcome back. <clears throat> oh, and Raphael Gaz, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope your day's going well. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got. Uh, actually, where I fail hugely is the logic, mainly loops. Hoping it's just a phase, though. I'm sure with practice, you'll get better. Mr. Wayne Anderson says, wait, this isn't a beer stream. It's like 2 p.m. Drink a beer. It's 2 p.m. though, guy. What what are you what are you what are you trying? What influencing are you trying to do? <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's the wrong scene. Let's go back to this. Um <clears throat> uh, 
more about the function stuff. Hey, what's up, Mindful Fox? Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Why did Microsoft name there? Oh, we get, we get, there's only like a hundred jokes in this silly library, so we get re repeats a lot. A lot of repeats. Uh, keep it on your bed. Yeah, there's the, um, there's the kinesis. I've, I've been practicing with it. We're going to do the first stream with the kinesis on Saturday, so be sure to tune into that and watch me try out a fancy new keyboard. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, so that'll that'll be a fun stream. We'll see how it goes. 2 p.m. That's a perfect time for a beer. <laughs> Mr. Juan Anderson says, "What's the point of being unemployed if you can't day drink?" Those are some those are some big brain plays. You know, maybe I feel like it's kind of too warm for a beer. I do have some like rosé that I could drink. I think that would actually be a better day drink. Um, hmm. Yeah, rosé sounds good right now. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some rosé. <laughs> I'll be back. Chat, you're a bad influence. Look what you've done. <laughs> bad influence, chat. <laughs> um, that's fine. But this is actually one of my favorite rosés because it's like slightly, slightly fizzy. Um, but, oh, I spilled a drop. Damn it. Oh well. But, uh, oh, I should show the bottle. <laughs> Um, it's called Fantasia. This way. Um, but it's good. Uh, this bottle was actually from my mother, I want to say. She ordered me a case, and... Anyway. Gonna be... Gonna be one of those streams. <laughs> um... Too warm for a beer, it's 80 degrees. I know, it's so hot right now though. Um, hey, thank you JDMSY, thank you for the subscription with Twitch Prime, appreciate it. Uh, it's you and AA, Anthony. Rosé, I'm judging, what? Juice, it's basically juice. This is the only bottle I had left, so that's that's why we're drinking it. Hey, what's up, Molian? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. BPAF says, so which AOC problem are we tackling next? Uh, we're not going to work on Advent Code today. We're going to try and work on my CI system. Drink plus Python coding stream. This seems to be your favorite thing, guys. I don't understand what the deal is, but... I don't know. Uh, head, thinking, dancing, feet. I'm not sure I understand, old knackered. That looks opaque. That's straight wine dog. Uh, no, this is definitely kind of hard to see it, but it's 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 a rosé. There, oh, you can see it now. See, it's a darker rosé. <clears throat> JDMS, uh, JDMSY says, hey, any idea if we can make the commands under a tox? section platform dependent for example bash on a unix system but if talks dash e was invoked on a windows platform do something more windows friendly yes there is a thing for that uh talks what are they called yeah platform specifiers um how do they work though Um, yeah, apparently this shows you how to use them, so I will let you read that. 
I've never used this myself, so I don't quite know how it works, but presumably you could follow this uh, instruction and, you know, use that example. RKJ says, let's get him drunk enough to break the TOS. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> What would I, what would I, how would I break the TOS? What What do you guys think that I would get drunk enough to do? Cause you, I'd have to be like pretty blackout to do some, like something that bad. I mean, it's not like what, like dabbing is not against the TOS and that's like the dumbest shit that I'll probably do. Um. <laughs> Let's see how many pre-commit CI will turn up now out of how many? Not sure I understand. Hey, what's up, Jugmag? Hello, hello. Um, Jugmag says, maybe you can give the big picture on what is bad with current CI and what yours will do differently. Maybe I missed that. Yes, so I have a little diagram here. Um, the basic problem that I want to solve is that the caching is extremely wasteful and kind of slow in pre-commit. Well, that's one of the problems. The, the, the caching is like really not as granular as I would want it to be, and I can do it much better and much faster and much cheaper and uh, not have like a bunch of error prone code that you need to set it up. So like, let me show you what you have to do for GitHub Actions right now for pre-commit, which is arguably like the most popular way to set it up right now, um, but it's a lot. <laughs> so you need, to, you need to set this huge long environment variable here, which does some like very specific, Checksumming of some stuff. <laughs> um, and then you need to hash this file, and like anytime any of these things changes, it just wipes the whole pre commit cache. And so you start over from scratch. Um, but I can build a system where, like, if you change one environment, it's not going to rebuild everything. It's just going to rebuild the one that you need. Um, and if someone else has used that particular version, then you don't need to rebuild it at all. But that's not the actual reason I want to build this. The reason that I want to build this is. Uh, this thing down here, which is that I want to be able to set up a CI system where somebody comes to my repository and makes a pull request, but they don't run the tools at all. And it will just auto fix their code for them and commit it directly to the PR. So they never need to worry about it. And um, that's, that's the other part. And that part's hard because uh, GitHub Actions doesn't give you access to a token. And yeah, you can use personal access tokens, but then you have to juggle that. And arguably, like, personal access to access tokens, if they're leaked, give way more permissions to a repository than you would need. Um, but there's also, um, there's also, like, 10 different CI systems, and, like, each configuration is slightly different. And I basically want, like, a zero config setup. Like, you, like, if you have a pre-commit config.yaml, pre-commit CI just fucking works. That's, that's what I want to get to. <clears throat> but yeah um person says the best part is that i'm in the eu so i can drink too because it is not daytime nice stanislav says damn i had an old cherry wine in the fridge and you just gave me idea now i'm too having a last time well cheers to you stanislav <laughs> metal storm says show your bum i don't think that's happening when you have a good excuse for drinking, you point to your head and say, thinking point to your feet, you say dancing. I guess it's a local thing. It's a good idea was what I was getting at. I see. Yeah, that's that's not a colloquialism that I am familiar with. Arza says, I guess that showing a nipple is enough. What if I showed three nipples? <laughs> Are you about a Twitch girl that did that? And GG. <laughs> Male nipples are fine, I see. Raphael Gaz says, is talks like make? That's how I like to think about it. Uh, do I have talks somewhere? Why was I talking about talks? Um, but here's like an example of configuration for talks. I actually just uploaded a video like an hour ago about this on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Uh <laughs> So basically talks is a thing that knows how to set up virtual environments and then run commands in them. And you can usually use it to like do tests and stuff. But like this one sets up against Python 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, and PyPy3, and it also has a pre-commit environment. This doesn't really get used in CI, it's just helpful for contributors. Uh, and it knows to set up a virtual environment and install these dependencies and then run these commands. 
And that's that's kind of how that works. Uh, Levinson says, wait, what? About what? <laughs> Hungry Hunger Hippo says he gets drunk, goes on a rant about how hot it is outside, and that it's a cool 80 Fahrenheit, and starts taking off his clothes to get cool. Is this is this your uh, like <laughs> like your OnlyFans scenario suggestion? <clears throat> Juice says it's it's ninety two here. You're literally fifteen miles away from me. Yeah, I mean, a little bit warmer on the other side of the bay. Uh, Parasit says, "My little fox. So if a girl has small man tits, is it also allowed? Or if a man has nice boobs too?" <laughs> uh. Oh boy. <clears throat> the title is nice. Yeah, I went for a nice clickbaity title today. Hey, what's up, Nullcons Pointer? Hello, hello. Welcome back. You've been here before, right? Yeah, you've been here a lot. Your name is your name is uh very familiar. Uh anyone close to the 24 hour stream? <laughs> I I still think I think Sarcastic Dante is probably the closest in, in points, in channel points. But, I don't know. And, um, and just didn't look it up, so <laughs> we'll never know. Okay, let me read the code that I wrote last time, because I'm pretty sure I just, like, spewed this out and then raged and then quit. <laughs> so let me figure out what I was doing. I'm sure that everything is cloned. Um... Okay, so this is very clearly not done here. Uh, to do actual cloning. So if we get to a point where we don't have a manifest, then we need to clone the manifest and store it in the storage or whatever. So I'll, I'll handle that later. And then we retrieve the manifest. Um, this block will make it make sure that it's not null. So I need to do that. This shouldn't be too hard. Why are these not lining up? It's really bothering me. Okay. Fixed. <laughs> yeah, Juice, so instead of buddies, you have to do white space in, in Python, which is almost as almost as uh annoying. <laughs> really? That's all it takes? Um <clears throat> uh yeah. So I need to do this part. We're gonna not do this part because it's not the hard part of this. We can do that part later. New title has tech lead vibes. What did I even set as the title? X lift eng writes Python code. Makes it sound like I'm like some sort of noob. As a millionaire. <laughs> not supposed to know that Nelcons pointer. What's up, code B9? Hello, hello. And tube worm. You've been here a while though. Why why are you saying hello? Oh, I guess you're saying hello to code B9. I get it. I get it. Okay, manifest by ID. Check that all the hooks exist. Okay, so this is the error handling, and then this is where we need to call that function that I was looking at. So I'm new here. <laughs> sure you are. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 999 plus messages in the channel. So that's definitely new here. Oh no, I can already not spell to do. To do call non clone repository hooks. So we're gonna do a thing here. Just to make sure this crashes. <clears throat> uh, why didn't the follow age command work? Oh, it was just slow, I see. Yeah, the follow age is a pretty cool command, and I didn't write it, and that's the best part. Um, the joy of open source. 
that was contributed by Senpaz, if I recall correctly. Um, but yeah, if you do BangBot, you can get the link to this repository. And yeah, Senpaz added the follow age command, which is pretty neat. <laughs> like that kitty cat. Um, but yeah, it was pretty pretty straightforward to add. Basically, just like you know, wrote wrote some Twitch API code, grumbled a bit about the Twitch API. And it worked fine. <clears throat> Mindful Fox, you're coming up on uh, coming up on that year and a half. Uh... Wait, really? That's not a command. Damn. What is the whisper command? Do you guys know what the whisper command is? Is it not? Is it not whisper? Oh, it's slash w. Okay. Why, why is the short command a thing, but not the long command? <laughs> grumble, grumble. <laughs> it's a sweet emote. Yeah, that, that is a pretty good emote. The, uh, the, the Bob S one. I like that one. Milkon's pointer says, I'm not sure we can't see what you're doing. Uh, sorry, we'll get back to this. Oh, we're on the wrong bug. We'll work in this monitor so you guys can actually see it. Okay, so we validated that all the hooks exist. That'll cover the error cases. Oh, actually, this has an error as well, so we actually don't need to do this. But we got a bit of a problem here because this actually loads this out of here. That's not going to work. And oh, right. That's <laughs> that's where this came in. I remember now but we can call this directly and that should be fine. So let's import hook instead. Hook. And I don't think we need this. Uh, unique hooks equals a set. Um, set of what? We need to import hook. Oh, it's so warm in my house. I'm so sad right now. Hook dot create. Four hook in repo hooks and hook that create takes repo config repo. Why though? Oh, just for an error message. Cool. Cool. Cool, that's easy. Repo, repo. That's the first argument. Uh, and then a prefix. What does prefix do? This we can just use a dummy prefix. So it will hopefully error. And then the last is this hook argument, which takes the hook. And root config equals CFG. That was easier than I thought. Why did I? Why was I so salt about this? Surely that's not quite right. Uh... It's Tux. Oh yeah. J Pratt says, "Did I miss some drama a bit ago?" No. I don't think there was any drama. Was there any drama, guys? <laughs> I wasn't trying to be dramatic. Maybe I accidentally? Gotta invest in shorts and a tank top, yeah. 
Although I think tank tops are kind of douchey, personally. But that's just me. Person says take a shower and let us watch. That would definitely violate the TOS. That would that would definitely be a thing. But sub to my OnlyFans and <laughs> I don't have an OnlyFans. Uh, hey, what's up, Laura three eighty six? Hello, hello. And Faki, hello, hello. Welcome back. Hungry Hunger Hippo says, looks like my prediction is coming true. He's drinking, he's complaining about the heat. Soon the clothes will be off. <laughs> Damn it, guys. Animal Server says, laughing my ass off. Elon changed his poor child's name from X whatever A12 to X whatever A XII to confirm to conform with California's law. I think he still has to change it again because uh, I believe California's law requires Latin one characters. So, uh, although that seems super racist, like Latin one is super racist. So I don't know, maybe he will buck, buck the trend. Litan says a little drama. Oh, the PyTest drama? That was, that was a long time ago. That's, that's done now. We've, we've finished that. Um, I'm back working on PyTest, which I'm super excited about because it's fun. <clears throat> Juice was probably involved in the drama. Hmm. I don't think there's any drama. I don't know what you're talking about. Chris says there's nothing about showering in the TOS. <laughs> I feel like that's super borderline. <clears throat> I feel like that's super borderline. Yeah, this is one. It is um, La Fantasia. It is a rosé. Um, but yeah. Tank tops are kind of douchey, but their practicality for heat is nice. Yeah, I once owned a tank top. It was way too fucking small for me, uh, but it was from a photo shoot for Yelp. <laughs> um, so I was like squeezed into an adult small tank top. Um, and like, like you thought this was low. No, the tank top was like, like full chest. Um, but I don't even remember what happened to those photos. I don't even know what the photo shoot was for. It was just like, I'm wearing an adult small and trying to not be self-conscious. There are photos of it somewhere. I don't know where they are. Presumably they were posted like on maybe like the Yelp blog. Um... Uh... Why is Jer Hurd's LinkedIn have my name there? That's weird. This above. Oh, <laughs> I remember this. Um, this is not the photo. Uh, but Yelp made a open source project called Yelp Love. And the idea was kind of like, if you've, if you've heard of the startup Fond, uh, uh, of course it's on Google because they picked a shitty name. Uh, sure. Oh, we could have just clicked on their actual website. Uh, but basically you like give your coworkers kudos or whatever, and they can turn into like actual rewards and stuff. Um, it's supposed to be like a peer recognition software, um, which Lyft used and it was fucking shit at Lyft. And <laughs> I forgot to cash out my fucking fawn points when I got laid off, like an idiot. But uh, Yelp made an open source version of this before fawn existed called Yelp Love. And basically you would just like type a username and send them love. And like it would just be kind of like a good way to like encourage your, your teammates and stuff. Um, and I was <laughs> I was the most loved of all time at the time this, uh, this um, thing was posted. And so I wrote some canned stuff. Yelp Love is a system where we pat each other on the back all day. It's weird to tell people, but once you experience it and get love, you'll get it. It just feels great. <sighs> Groan. I think Yelp Love has changed the way we recognize employees. It It's changed it in such a way that they don't get compensation because they work at Yelp. It gives you an opportunity to recognize people where they wouldn't necessarily see where their work is appreciated. Sometimes you don't know that you did great work until you get that positive reassurance from your peers. Yelp Love gives people a chance to give that. <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> I took some I took some Photoshop screenshots of um, some of the some of the best loves that I ever received. Um, 
So these these are these are a handful of those. Um, because I, I was the most loved of all time at the time. But anyway, that's Yelp Love. <laughs> this, art, this article is, is yikes. Is this just a fucking repost of this article? It is, it's just a fucking repost of this article. Cool. Um, anyway, I don't know that we're going to, this is a risky, risky click. We're not gonna scroll through Google images. That never ends well. <clears throat> but yeah, there is a photo of it somewhere. I might. Oh, I bet I have the poster. Oh, where would I have put that? Yeah, no, I definitely have a poster of it. <laughs> I definitely have a poster of it. So I'll, I'll try and find that after stream. Um, cringe, yeah. If you're not hearing complaints, then you're doing your job right. Mm. Mm -mm. Cash in font points, yeah, you can turn them into like money. But I forgot to turn mine into money. So rip me, I guess. Rip me. <clears throat> uh, bro, stop posting. Stop your posting cringe. Uh, I don't think I can ever stop being cringe. Rip me. Maybe your fun points roll over to your next employer. I don't think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure they just, they pocket whatever they would have contributed. Um, which like, doesn't exactly surprise me because that totally seems like something they would do. Ah, um, oh, I didn't drip that time. Look at me. Good at pouring. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't think it's a 401k. Yeah, no, it's not. It's a, it's a way to not compensate people as much. Hey, what's up, Oz Kansen? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, this was much easier than I thought. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, how is this supposed to work for non-cloned? Oh wait, this is what it's supposed to do for clone. Oh, so I fucked this up. Look. Yeah, fuck this up. This needs to be manifest by ID, hook ID. Right? Yeah. Yes, that's what it's supposed to be. Yes. Okay. So that simulates this logic here. We don't care about prefix, so we're just passing in a dummy thing. We can actually do this not implemented one because it's actually pretty easy. Um, make hooks equals hook dot create. it's that easy somehow but uh, we'll find out I know this is not gonna work as is uh, where is this <laughs> juice I gotta fix my buddies <laughs> help Said the wrong one there. F string missing closing parenthesis. This isn't a parenthesis. Is that a parenthesis? Is parenthesis generic for all brackets? Parenthesis. A pair of round brackets. That's what I thought. Probably an easy documentation update if somebody wants to do that. Do you get penalized for pulling out fun points too early? No, I should have just cashed them out as soon as I got them, like any normal person did. 
um, and just turn them into like Amazon money. <clears throat> Milk Spoiner says, you are cool. Your chill vibes reminds me of Big Head from the show Silicon Valley. I have not seen Silicon Valley. I've seen a couple like clips of it, like the Pesca Pescatarian clip, because anytime I mention I'm a Pescatarian, they're like, oh, have you seen Silicon Valley? There's there's this clip where Jeremy Stoppelman says that he's a Pesca Pescatarian. Um, Jeremy Stoppelman was the CEO at Yelp, so I, I know him. I've talked to him. I've had lunch with him several times. Um, he's an interesting person, but that's about all I know about Silicon Valley. I know that if I watched it, I would probably enjoy it, but, um, but I have not. <laughs> well, that, uh, Tuberm says Silicon Valley triggers my startup flashbacks. It's like the, uh, I hope this is enough to get it. Dog cup. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. It is. So is this this gif. This one. You guys see that? It's just like the shit I've seen <laughs> kind of gif. <laughs> oh god, the startup. God, I love this gif. It's such a low quality version of it. They're all kind of shit. That one looks like it should be better, but this one's skewed. Ugh, whatever. But anyway, dog cupcake. Thing, thing that pops into mind all the time. Oh, nom flashbacks. I've seen some shit, kid. All right, so we should have fixed the buddy problem. Generator is not defined. I swore we fixed this already. Oh, I have no typing imports. <laughs> Generator. You never even tried to run the script. Crazy town. Hey, what's up, Dr. Shups? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope your day is going well. Mine's going pretty darn good. I can't complain. Uh, it's gifts. They're supposed to be shit as per the RFC. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. The IT crowd triggers my help desk days. Oof, I'm sorry for that. Edwin says, did you get let go because of the pandemic? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know anything about the business because I never pay attention because I was there to build code for developers and I don't really give a fuck how the business worked. I was just, are the developers happy? Are people productive? Cool, I'm doing my job. That's all I really care about. But I assume that when people are locked indoors and not going places, that they don't go places. And when they don't go places, they don't use Lyft or Uber. Um, so I imagine the business is struggling. And that was probably the primary reason for laying off 17% of the workforce. Milk on Spider says, I remember my first quarter of university. I used Pico for all of my assignments. Once I discovered IDs, I felt so free. I mean, IDs can be freeing. I just like my terminal editor. Hey, what's up, Mazna Kirchina? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, but actually, this editor is my own editor. So this is my own editor called Babby. Uh, I'm actually running an old version of it. Let me upgrade that. Because the newest version is 0010, which has some fixes. Oh, the grammars are already up to date. I also fixed the grammars. It was broken for C++ files. It would just crash. <laughs> it would just straight up crash when you open a C++ file that had C pre preprocessor stuff in it. Um, that's all fixed now. Oh no. Uh, can I open off screen? Yes, okay, good. Oh. We know who the top channel points people are now, thanks to stat. Well, this is kind of kind of not surprising. Yeah, all the top ten all make sense, but oh, you guys are getting close. <laughs> okay, this is you guys want to see the top ten of of channel points right now? See who's the closest to a hundred thousand. Mazna Kurchina says, "Sup." 
We're writing this code today. We're working on a CI system. It's, um, it's doing a thing. Deep Fried Deals says, ex lift engineer, what do you do now? Right now, I'm hashtag fun employed. We're, uh, I'm working on my own sort of stuff for a while to, um, you know, build, build the thing that I want to build and see where it takes me. Um, and maybe, maybe monetize it. We'll see. Okay. Um, I was actually surprised who's the top though. Like this kind of surprised me, but here we go. These are the, these are the top channel points right now. Um, hey, what's up? Astro Misty 89. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, the endless server is almost to 60,000. So you're 60% of the way there. Um, but then it's there's 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 no surprises in the rest of these names. You guys you guys show up for most of my streams. Um, these numbers are from last night, so they're probably off by some amount. Because um, it's a nightly job. Hey, what's up? Not Sarcy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. You have almost sixty eight thousand. Did you get like twenty thousand today, or is this just wrong? Juice. It might be a weekly job. Oh yeah, it could be missing a few streams then. But anyway, oh if you've gone from forty four to sixty eight in a week, we're gonna get there real quick. We're gonna be doing that that super super um that super stream. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Rocky says, autocomplete in editors can be so annoying. I've seen stuff like the user typing an E and getting suggestions such as else or exception or some other incredibly generic keyword. Fascinatingly pointless. I plan to implement autocomplete at some point. I have not looked into it or thought about it yet, but I'm probably going to make it so it's not just like always on, but like you have to press a key combination and it like only looks at names or something or uses the, uh, the language server stuff or... I don't know. I'm, if I'm going to have autocomplete, it's going to be not shit, because if it's shit, what's the point? <laughs> or you can type dot on some object and you get literally the world. Yeah. Uh, Mas Masna Puccina says, <clears throat> What is your opinion on IDEs such as PyCharm? I've never used them and did everything in notebooks till now. I'm debating if I should start PyCharm straight up or first try something with less complicated editors. I'm a beginner, by the way. I would strongly suggest using either like PyCharm or VS Code, um, especially as a beginner, they'll help you out a lot in writing code. Um, yeah. I would also suggest learning a terminal editor, but maybe not using it as a full-time thing, especially as a beginner. Because um, knowing, knowing one terminal editor is useful for situations where like, you know, you get commit and it opens up Vim and you're like, oh God, what do I do now? Uh, or like, you know, you're SSH into a machine and you need to like poke around at something, like something else is, is useful. Exposing our user IDs. I'm pretty sure they're already exposed through the API or through the through the chat. I pulled before the multiplier for subs and stuff. Wait, they're not stored. Oh, that makes me so sus of how how the back end is. I guess it makes sense. Huh. No sub multiplier in the in the data store. Interesting. Uh, that twenty four hour stream could push over to a hundred k. No, the, the point is the hundred k happens first. The server is at eighty seven thousand. Oh no, that's like three streams away, and it's gonna happen. Uh, yike. The server says seems weird. I was not able to watch that much the last streams. I never. And got 70,000 points in the last week. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't include spent points, too. I feel like people don't spend that many points, so it's fine. <laughs> Can't close Vim. Good, you don't need to. Please don't make join tables. It's a holiday. We're, we're forcing we're forcing juice to use their SQL knowledge. <laughs> uh, do you have to do a 24 hour stream for each person to hit 100k? I'm probably gonna delete the incentive once one person does it. 
We might do one like periodically though. But we'll we'll see. I don't know. I think 24 hours is gonna be a lot. And I, I don't know how I'm gonna how we're gonna deal. Fix all these imports. Contribute error, double under enter. Really? Uh oh. Well, I see. Easy fix. None type has no attribute. None type is not iterable. Oh. oh yeah, this is the logic that we haven't implemented. We need to do this to do. Okay, cool. If manifest is none, then we need to... What do we need to do? So this is just the builder part. We don't actually need... Okay, I think I know what we need to do here. Populate, uh, or let's see, clone repo. Ensure repo, sure. Intrusion repo, repo, and repo rev. And then we'll go implement this ensure repo function. Ugh, it's so sweaty hot in here. Ugh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Build repo. What is this function? What was I doing here? Oh, that was the old code. Image. Oh, we don't need image version in the argument there. Sure. The shout-out command is, is filtered here. Uh, Master Attack M32 says, or set the next one to 300,000, then 700,000. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that idea. That way I could like con kind of constantly have it as an incentive. Oh. Clever, clever girl. <laughs> I didn't assume your gender, it's a meme, I promise. I didn't, I, I didn't incorrectly assume your gender either, I hope. Ah, now I've, now I've trapped myself. Um. Okay, okay. I assumed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, we've got, we've got, we've got the new one. Here's the new one. This is with sub modifiers. Um, <clears throat> she's um, it's getting close to a hundred. <laughs> hey, what's up? Let's just assume. Man, that was um, that was on uh, on point. Are you a bot or like, are you just happen to have a name that's um, pretty pretty on point? Uh, assuming in 2020, right? <laughs> Milkon Spinner says, I saw one stream make their reward int 32. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. There's no fucking way someone's gonna get to 2 billion. I mean, the best says, what editor or theme? So we are using my own editor called Babby. And the theme I'm using is the VS Dark with one modification. The one modification is that in INI files, it will highlight the heading. So the normal VS Dark just has these as white, um, but I, I bolded and highlighted them. But other than that, it's the VS Dark theme. But I can use any VS Code theme or any TextMate or Atom or... Uh, what's the other one? TextMate, Atom, VS Code. 
Sublime Text. I can use any of those themes uh, because I've implemented the engine for it. Are you assuming I'm a bot? I don't know. You were just like super on point, like to the point where it was like, but I don't think you're a bot now because you've said something that's not just uh, you called after someone said assumed. But anyway, welcome to the chat. Uh, are the IDs random or depending on the time the account was created? <laughs> Mindful Fox says, did Juice give you those numbers? And Juice says no. You reverse engineered our channel point system and used his chatbot to run the numbers. No, I'm not that clever. I like how this CSV isn't even valid because there's two header columns and then three value columns. Um, it's good. I like it. But anyway, th those are our channel points leaders. Um, ha he ho, ha he ho. Ninety says you seem to use type pins for arguments and return values. Do you always do that for good style? So I'm using a type checker. Oh, I actually have the configuration open. Uh, <laughs> that was uh, timely. But I'm using MyPy, which is a static analysis tool that validates the types of the functions in your code. Um, and these are, this is the configuration that I have set up for it. So basically, MyPy will look at those annotations. They don't really do anything at runtime, uh, but I can do static analysis to kind of make sure that the, the types are consistent. Uh... But yeah, type hints. Type hints support his non-existing auto-completion engine, yeah. Well, if I ever do, impl if I ever, like, finally work on, what is it called? Uh, the Python language server stuff, then the type ins will be very valuable there. But I haven't bothered yet. Uh, Raul Rossi says, which keyboard switch colors? So this doesn't have colors. Uh, the only thing, the only colors that can switch are this little LED right there. There's another one right here as well. Um, but I don't remember how to switch them. So this one is permanently set to green. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure I switched it when I first plugged in the keyboard, and I just haven't changed it since. Um, but the keyboard, you can look at Bang Keyboard. There's also Bang Keyboard 2 and Keyboard 3. And soon there will be a Keyboard 4. This is Keyboard 2. This little guy here. Um, and this is my other keyboard, which I soldered on stream. This is my stream deck. So, like, when I press... Which button is that going to do? This button. When I press this button, it takes me to selfie mode. How's it going? In selfie mode. And when I press this button, it takes me back to the stream mode, and this one takes me to be, uh, be right back screen. And these are the ones that I use for recording my YouTube videos. So, like, this is my selfie mode for my YouTube videos, um, which you can see here. But anyway, that's my, that's my stream deck. And then I have another keyboard back there, which we'll be streaming on Saturday with. That's uh, it's Kinesis Split Keyboard, um, which I'm not very good at yet, but, well, I'm, I'm decent at it, but. We'll be, we'll be using that on Saturday, so if you want to show up to that stream, we'll be demoing my new keyboard. It'll be pretty cool. Uh, Command Triangle says, Command Triangle, yo, I like your name. That's great. Uh, why do you use a virtual machine? Um, so I like a Linux development environment, but I'm actually on Windows right now. Uh, I lost my window. Oh no, where did it go? There we go. I'm actually on Windows right now um, because I play some video games and uh, OBS works a little bit better on Windows. So I've been sticking with that. And I've been using Windows for fucking... Where is it? 2020? Like 25 years, so I'm more familiar with the setup there. Uh, but I do a lot of development on Linux, and I build some packages for <laughs> for um, for Ubuntu. So uh, I do spend a lot of time in Linux. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that answers that question. I really need to make a video about this. I still haven't done it yet. It's on my to-do list. Um, but there's only there's only so much recording time I get per day to make separate videos. But um, Elkon Splinter says I use a keyboard that's half mesh, half mechanical. It's satisfying. Ooh, that sounds wild. Um, Zhongyi, something like that. <laughs> Split keyboard chilling in the back. Yeah, we're gonna be using that on Saturday. Um, I don't know why I put it on my bed. It was on it was on my desk because I was practicing with it yesterday. Um, but I'm not good enough at it to use it on stream without like cursing every like 15 seconds and being like, "Fuck, I screwed up the Y key again. Damn it." Um, so we're, I'm gonna practice on it some more, but we're gonna do the first stream of that on Saturday. Um, Mad Triangle says, "Are you cheating?" Uh, I cheat at typing, if that's what you're asking. Um, that's why. That's why. That's why I'm not so good at the split keyboard yet. Bert says, Matt Triangle, he's a noob. That's why he uses a virtual machine. Windows equals blasphemy, says Mazna Kerchina. Indeed. Indeed. It's probably worth learning curve for your wrist over a long period. Yeah, but I've been I've been tapping at a keyboard for like 25 years and I haven't fucked my wrists yet. Oh, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Uh, Mandrangle says, I'm actually starting to stream, but I am a noob. Any tips? Yeah, I do have tips. Um, so I've actually been meaning to like put together my setup and like kind of explain what I, what I do and like how I think it makes a difference in streaming. But here's my like short list of tips. Um, have a face cam. That's super important. Pay attention to chat. I think that's the most important thing, especially in this category. If you're if you're doing in science and technology, if you're doing in gaming categories, I don't know anything about gaming. Uh, I'm super bad at the gaming categories. Nobody watches my streams in gaming. Um, but yeah, have a face cam. Um, have some some sort of background music. I tend to prefer like copyright free music because I upload to YouTube afterwards. Um, and I don't know. Work on stuff that seems interesting to you. Like if you're working on stuff that you're not in like invested in you're like it's gonna show on stream and people are gonna be like oh this guy's just like kind of bored um and be prepared to not actually get that much done because i don't know i feel like i get fuck all done on stream but and 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 be approachable i guess i don't know the hardest part to me was talking to myself and now i'm fucking great at talking to myself like crazy <laughs> but um yeah, that's that's kind of my advice there. And like build up enough people that watch your stream and like raid people and watch other people's programming streams and like, you know, meet people in chat. And, and it's a lot about like kind of networking and like getting getting to a point where like you're building up a following from people around you and like supporting other streamers around you. The really cool thing about the science and technology category is everyone is like super supportive. Um, like I probably would have given up on this shit if it weren't for like other people rating me and me rating other people and just like hanging out with other programmers and it's really cool this category is great um i haven't really seen like this sort of camaraderie in like other streams that i've watched so it's it's kind of nice but i know hopefully hopefully that kind of gives you something to go off of but um i do plan to like go over like my sound and obs setup and like all that other stuff and like how i prepare for a stream and like you know set up a discord and like have you know, a description with links and stuff and like spam twitter once a day and like all that other shenanigans but i haven't quite you know collected my thoughts enough to spew that out into a video but but yeah uh ozzy uh ozzy's ozich oh, fuck, i don't know how to say your name <laughs> I'm gonna call you Ozzy. Ozzy says, why X-Lift engineer? Rona strikes again? Yes, I was part of the layoffs, the, the recent layoffs. Um, so now I'm doing my own thing. But, <laughs> person says, Shh, no cursing, the stream's not 18 plus. Is it not? I'm pretty sure I set my stream to mature. Did I not do that? That would be, that would be 
I'll figure that out later. I'm pretty sure my stream is set to that. But if it's not, then I forking goofed. <laughs> uh... Juice says one, be attractive. Two, don't be unattractive. I mean, I'm gonna start to blush now. Thank, thank you, Juice. Mad Triangle says, how long have you been streaming? I've been streaming programming since late 2018. So about a year and a half or two years. Wait, 2018 plus plus a year plus almost two years. I think it'll be two years in September, but quite a while. Code B9 says chat doesn't just doesn't chat distract you from coding. Have you seen how much code I've written in the last like 15 minutes? Of course they distract, distract me from coding, but that's a lot of the point. That's kind of why I like this stuff, because it's it's fun. It gets the job done. Gets the job done. Fucking um, yeah, but I think interacting with chat is um, pretty, pretty fun. <clears throat> Parsa says, Juice, do you know that from experience or from observation? <laughs> uh, no Consplainer says, how do you not run out of things to talk about? Um... Be honest i repeat a lot of the same stuff over and over people ask the same questions over and over um but also i work on enough variety of things that i feel like i could just talk about programming forever and bore so many people to tears over it um but i, I don't i haven't even like come close to being like oh there's there's a limited number of things i want to talk about like uh for example i have a i have a wiki page for for things that I want to make YouTube videos about where I'm like explaining things. And this this originally started out being like this long and it just keeps getting longer and longer and people keep asking more and more stuff and I, I chop off like one thing a day. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm never going to get to the end of this list. Um, so I feel like there's always like more programming concepts to talk about and I don't know. That kind of keeps me chatting about stuff, I guess. Uh, da -da -da. Sarcastic Dante says, don't ban people when you have three viewers. Happened a few times to me. That's weird. How did you, how did you piss someone off at three viewers? Um, oh yeah, allow links in your chat. That's another big one. Allow links in your chat. Because programming, you, you post links a lot. Also get a moderator if you're going to have problems with that. But like, I don't, I don't really have a moderator. I have juice, I guess and Hayden when he shows up. Um, but yeah, allowing links seems pretty important to programming because you spend a lot of time like sharing code and like showing documentation and stuff. Uh, whereas like in a traditional like gaming stream, like yeah, I see I see why you would ban links, but. Um, and if you're brave, turn off chat filtering. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Person says, Juice, I know it because whenever I join this category, Lana is always the top streamer. Yeah. She works on interesting stuff, I think. I don't know, I've never watched her stream. <laughs> Although like 20% of the people that watch my stream come as a referral from her channel, which I don't understand. I don't know where they possibly end up on my channel from there. But that's what Twitch tells me. Tuber says, whenever I look at this category, there's this German lady with 500 viewers at the top for some reason. Huh, interesting. She says, Parsid, it is an entertainment medium like anything else. People are on average shallow and want their entertainers to be attractive. I think Twitch has more variety and does a good job of giving people a platform, but the masses are still the masses. Yeah, they're still horny as fuck. <laughs> Sarcastic Dante says, why would you teach people curses though? I assume you mean programming curses. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Programming curses is um, is a thing. My triangle says, I'm actually taking notes of your tips, so thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, you also don't need, like, super fancy hardware to get set up. Like, I my webcam is from 2006 and still works fine. 
Like, you can still see me. Color balance is not the best or whatever, but it does record at 1080p, but I don't actually use the full... I mean, I, I kind of do in this view, but... Um, and my microphone is a Blue Yeti. It's a, like, 100 some, some odd dollar microphone. And, you know, that plus an internet connection and enough computer to encode video, and you're done. Like, that's... It's not actually that much to get started. Um, and especially over quarantine, a lot of programming channels have spun up, and there's been a lot of really good content produced since then. Um, I'm actually like super excited about a lot of the new streamers. It's it's pretty cool. This category is this category is great. I'm I'm really happy with the programming category. Um, but I and, and at the beginning, it's gonna be at the beginning, it's gonna be really tough. You're gonna be sitting in a room with one zero two like not that many viewers, and it's gonna feel really discouraging, but you just gotta get better at like talking to yourself, explaining what you're going through, you know, demoing the stuff that you're working on, um, and like staying positive about it. And once you get over that like little hump of like five to 10 viewers, like things will get a lot better. But yeah, those are, those are my thoughts. Person says, Juice, I don't don't even want to start, but did you just assume that the chat is full of shallow people? I mean, why else would you watch me? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, consistent stream schedule. That is another good thing, Mindful Fox. Um, establish a day and a time that you're going to stream at and like consistently stick to that makes a big difference. Um, when I didn't have a stream schedule, when I just streamed haphazardly, um, my numbers were way worse, but as soon as I was like, you know, every Saturday at 11 a.m. I'm going to stream and people would like, you know, put a calendar event or whatever and actually show up for the, the streams consistently. Um, and that made a huge difference. I'm actually planning to switch my schedule soon so that because uh, now that I'm fun employed, <laughs> got all this fucking free time, uh, I'm going to start streaming or I'm going to more consistently stream. I tried it last week and it worked well. I'm going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday and try and start at noon on those days or earlier. Um, but yeah, a stream schedule I feel is pretty important for growth in the in the category if you have people that are like uh, gonna show up at a specific time for a specific stream. But yeah. Zongi says, you don't need a Blue Yeti though. Most modern headset microphones are decent enough. Yeah, that's true. Uh, my headset is, head, headset is shit though. This is from 2009 it's falling apart i really only wear it so that i can hear the music because otherwise i would just i'd go absolutely insane just uh sitting here in silence um also it's useful for me to hear like notifications and stuff um and i can't play through my speakers because then you would get feedback through my mic so that's why i have a headset i really don't like wearing a headset if i could get away without it like if there was some sort of magical sound filtering shenanigans i would totally do that but such is the way Uh, Juice says, being active in other people's chats brings a lot of people to your channel too. Yeah, that's true. Also, I find that when I'm active in other people's chat, like a bunch of people that know me from streams will be like, hey, Anthony, how's it going? And like, you kind of build a little community that way as well. Milkon Splinter says, I wish there were more granular tags for science and technology channel, like the programming language. Yeah, that would be really cool. The problem is science and technology is pretty small on Twitch, so I... I don't really blame Twitch for not investing much in it, but it would be pretty cool if you could do like a language Python tag. Um, that would actually be super fucking dope because I would just raid people that did Python or like people that did like C++ or Rust or like even like front end and back end would, would be like a good differentiator. But yeah, I, I don't know how that like who's going to invest in that, but it would be a cool improvement. Uh, Mad Triangle says, what do you do for a living? Well, right now, <laughs> right now I don't do anything for a living because I don't have a job. Um, but when I did have a job, I worked as an infrastructure and developer tooling engineer. Uh, basically I built tools and software for develop developers and um, 
yeah, my, my goal is to make people productive by building tools for them. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of my passion. Like I really, I really enjoy building software that makes other people's software easier to write. Um, so that's my jam. Uh, Dark Polarm says something that often turns me off of small channels is when they blast loud music so you can't hear a word they say. Be wary of sound levels. Yeah, so I can show you guys my sound levels. Um, let me switch to, oh wait, no, you have to see this scene. Oh boy, that doesn't fit on screen anymore. Let me shrink this down a little bit. Okay, so what I aim for, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so these are my sound levels. What I aim for is when I talk, it's somewhere between like 30 and uh, negative, what is this, negative eight. So if I like really get loud, I will just barely peek my microphone here. Um, but if I'm if I'm quiet, you can see it's like down here around 30. Um, and for like background noise or like music, I aim for it to max out at about 35 to 30. Um, this is a quieter point in the song, so it's really around like 40 or so. Uh, but anything above that will make it harder for you to hear as a user. So that's that's what I try and do with with OBS there. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Um, I do have RTX voice set up, but I found that it, um, I found that, <laughs> I found that when I get like, uh, snarky and I want to like be loud or like, you know, whisper into the microphone, um, that RTX voice will just cut all that out. So I've turned it off for now. But it was useful when I was soldering and had like a blaring fan going and uh, you could still hear me, which was decent, but yeah, RTX voice is, is pretty nice. It's pretty fucking magical. Pretty fucking fuck, fuction imaginable. <laughs> How do I words? Bill Pointer says, how do you get around copyright issues when streaming music? So I use a copyright free uh, stream list, but also Twitch allows you to stream copyrighted music. Uh, it'll just get muted in your VODs, but if you're going to upload to YouTube, you'll want to pick something that's not uh, copyrighted as much. Um, but I gotta go fill up my water again, so I'm gonna go do that. I'll be right back and I will continue reading chat in a second. So see you guys in a sec. I'm back. Hello. Oh, I'm so far behind in chat. Also, is music still playing? Yes. Hey, what's up, Zonghee? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, even though I've seen you in chat. But welcome, welcome, and thank you for the follow. Uh, da, 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 da. 
The Gel Mega says, hey, has it really come to that where you need to tell that you're an ex lift Inch to get views? Yo, I wanted to see how the clickbait works. I want to see, I want to see if it's real. Um, turns out it really made almost no difference to my view count today, so. Um, but anyway, I want, I want to see what it would do, so. <laughs> we're playing around with, we're playing around with clickbait. We're trying to mix it up. Um, <laughs> So that's that's why that's there. Um, <laughs> blame Twitch. Yeah. He says, I guess also don't play like the most hardcore acid thunderous or insane music. It might turn people off, even if it's just in the background. Yeah, that's another reason why I just put chill music on my channel. This also is not the music that I normally listen to in when I do my own thing. Um, I usually listen to like crappy pop punk and um, pop alternative and that sort of shenanigans, but no, I've, I've kind of grown accustomed to like, okay, this is my, my stream programming music. We're gonna, we're gonna go with this. Uh, the gentleman said, well, had something good and bad happen in my life. The bad thing, my power supply has worked when pulling more power, but I got a job. That's great. Congrats on your job, the gel mega. It's good to hear. Rip and congrats, yeah. Uh, but yeah, now that you have a job, you can buy a new power supply. Some good plays right there. Press it says, I have monitor headphones, and I think you can lower the, mu lower the music another 10 to 20%. Uh, you mean on, on my channel? Um, I mean, maybe. I, I kind of like this level of music. If it's if it's too quiet, people like don't hear it at all. And then how would they get the drop song? <laughs> Uh, I don't have a command for music, but it's in the it's in the playlist below or it's in the description below. Hey, Michaela. Hello, hello. Welcome back. <clears throat> Speaking of music, are there any good Foss Dawes? I don't even know what that means. What does it mean, Michaela? It's a job at one of the big game engine companies that does not start with a U. <laughs> Ed Triangle says, what do you use VMs? What do I use for virtual machines? I use VirtualBox. Um, Sungi says, really like your chat interaction. Yeah, that's the whole point. That's that's what we're doing this for, right? Uh, hey, what's up, Blue Crib? Hello, hello. And Lost in Spade, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. That's assaulting Anthony, we're not 12 year olds. Insulting. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and hey, what's up, B22Tran? Thank you for the follow. Uh, even the Netflix guy does it. Wait, what thing? This, what? What? Emo Anthony. Yeah, you know it. Uh, my hair's not quite long enough to be my, my full, my final emo form. Um... <laughs> What's up, Jarbro? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Milk Hunt Spider says, Every time you make the sound with your mouth, I thought you were adjusting the sound in Linux. Oh, the popping sound? That sound? No, that's just just that's just my mouth doing doing mouth things. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up? Praj Prajalpa, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. He's doing it for the chats. Yeah. Uh, that triangle says, I work for the one that starts with a U. I know somebody who works at... Fuck, which one is that? Sign language or forget. <laughs> it has slipped my mind. <laughs> Uh, but I have a friend who works at a, at a game company, but he doesn't work on the game software. He works on like other stuff. Uh, El Badger says, hi there. Aside from chat interaction, what is it that you're working on there? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, fine, fine. You called me the fuck out. We're going to write some code. Uh, we are working on a CI system for a tool called, where is it, this one? A tool called Precommit. The idea behind Precommit is it's a linter code formatter framework. Uh, you set up like a repository and a version and some tools, 
and it knows how to install them and run them against your files. And this is a framework that I created. And I wanna build a purpose-built CI system around this that uh, in one part will make this work a lot more seamlessly, but also provide some features that are useful for open source development. Um, so I am building based on this kind of diagram to build a CI system. And the component that we're working on today is this builder portion, which is going to take this configuration and ensure that the tools are built properly such that the runner can eventually run them. And so we're, we're building that, that component today. Uh, Parsons says, the Netflix guy uses what he works for in Netflix to add his title. Oh, I see, yeah. The, uh, the clickbaits. Stanislav says, do you have any suggestions for must read programming books? Uh, I don't read books. Sorry, I don't read programming books, so I don't have any suggestions. I've heard, I, I can give you suggestions on ones that I've heard are good. Uh, like if you're in Python, the, I've heard the PyTest book is really good. Uh, the one by Brian Aachen. I've also heard that Bruno's is good too, but I haven't read Bruno's. Or I haven't looked at Bruno's. I, but Bruno is one of the other maintainers. Um, The last programming book I read was Carnegie and Richie's uh, C standard whatever book, which is good if you're going to write a bunch of C. But yeah, I don't have any book suggestions. Sorry. Akila says Anthony can't read. Bug. What did I? What did I? What did I? What did I? What did I screw up reading this time, Akila? What? <laughs> oh, Anthony can't read. Oh, about books. Yeah. Yeah, shit. I lost, lost my ability to read. Uh, can it run Crisis? Yeah, I remember that too, Nullcon's pointer. Uh, all I know is something's on the Uncle Bob, something's on the Gang of Four. Yeah, but that's C++. Right? Right? Uh, Shimitana says, whoa, what is this X about, dude? Layoffs? Yeah, I got laid off a while ago. I'm just trying to clickbait today <laughs> for no reason because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> I was kind of right. It's kind of working now. I've got 84 viewers. None of you are, none of you are subbing, though. So what, what's up with that? <laughs> no, I don't need subs. It's fine. Um, but yeah, let's, let's work on this. So this is supposed to clone the repository and set up the database stuff. So, mm hmm, hmm. Let's see, Poster. Does story even get used here? It does, but we could really just do this and not use store. Nelcon's pointer, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome to the Simps. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Dark Polearm says, so much for actually writing code. We're writing code now, I promise. <laughs> Brian Kerrigan does videos on computer file. Uh... Oh yeah, it gets recommended a lot on CS career questions. Interesting. Michaela says, I used to be subbed because it got gifted. Yeah, it gifts subs. Parsit says, go sub you little sim, says the one who never subs. Yeah, you don't even follow Parsit. It's, it's, it's 
swear. How do you actually notice the stream? Do you notice from like my Twitter or from Discord or do you just like browse Twitch and get the notification? Well, you're not followed, so you don't get a notification that way. How do you even show up? I don't understand. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Dorumd? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Elbander says, Gang of Four is general object-oriented design patterns, not specifically just for C++. Gnag. <laughs> There's a band called Gang of Four. Great. Really? It's generic? I'm like totally blanking out on what Gang of Four actually is at the moment. Mm. Oh, it is four people that made algorithms. I see. What am I thinking of? What is the C++ thing that's like, maybe it's Gang of Five? Oh, three, five, zero. That's what I'm remembering. Which is with copy and and assign and destructor and virtual and move operator and yeah okay that's what i'm thinking of unrelated to gang of four whoops uh sarcastic dante says hey i recognize that git dash c protocol at version equals two you do recognize that because you were the contributor that added it to pre -commit. uh so we've got this protocol version equals two. And if we look, we've got commits from none other but Sarcastic Dante, which is pretty awesome. I, I'm really happy that you contributed to pre-commit. <clears throat> Alconsponer says, woo, sub hype. You better throw up those pythons now that you've got them. Itger Bliskin says, Anthony, gotta undo a button now. Why do I have to undo a button? What what are you talking about? What what? What why do I have to undo a button? <laughs> Is there a thing that I missed? Did you guys like decide that I undo buttons for subs or something? Did somebody say that? Is that a thing? Um <laughs> Flash's guns gang signs repin them design patterns, true. Uh Boris Flanner says, how do you get around these problems? What problems? Uh, programming problems? I just, I don't know. I write code until it stops breaking. Ninja Bliskin says, you stop using Python. I have no idea. I don't use Python. No, this is Python. I promise. A pointer holds an address, so a null const pointer is a pointer that points to nothing at forever. Oof. That's, that's some yikes. I mean, it's true, but also that makes your name way sadder than I thought it was because it's actually kind of cool. Marissa says, Anthony's getting drunk. I can see this. First, we need to take advantage of him now. <clears throat> Michaela says, thanks for the pointer. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. Um, I guess up, Kushimitama. Juice says, how many buttons are on your shirt? And there's only four left, so not that not that buttonous of a shirt. <laughs> right code until it stops breaking. Yeah, that's my strategy. You miss Forrest's other message? Oh no. What? Oh, I did miss Forrest. He said, I write a lot of Python, but I'm having a hard time with packaging and software distribution of Python tools. Um hmm. Yeah, I do plan to make a video at some point about... Oh no, Juice, what have you done? <laughs> uh... Juice, I only have four buttons left. Um... Hey, what's up, Olaf Alexander? Thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream. I mean, we could probably do this without like actually getting in trouble, right? Um... Right? Um, 
We'll just have to we'll just have to be careful. Very careful about this. <laughs> but but thank you for the gift subs. Uh this is this is the problem with the stream. This is what you guys have made me do. Um so I'll just have to sit down here and no one will know the difference. It's fine. Everything is okay. Uh, that's how I get banned. Uh, Gang of Fire was design patterns. Yeah, yeah. Um. It's not sad, it's happy. It's not about being nothing, but thinking nothing like meditation. Oh, okay. So it's some like hashtag deep stuff. I got you. Kyla says, I like how Anthony laughs at my horrible jokes. I don't have a fucking anything. I pipe, I pipe. I mean, I, I currently have zero buttons, so we're just gonna be real careful. Don't blame the juice. What could go wrong? <laughs> I have no more buttons, but LXC3301 has gifted five subs. Thank you, LXC3301. I don't have any buttons left though, so I don't I don't know what you want me to do. Um, but welcome new subscribers. Sorry, I didn't even say them all. Mine and Kinbiko and Coding Garden and Itcher Bliskin and View Style and Culumbus and Two Worm and Metal Storm and GR360. Thank you all and welcome to the stream. <laughs> Waiting for a nip slip. <laughs> Those gift subs were unrelated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Sarcastic Dante, you just really want that nip slip. I'm, I know how it is. Uh, Yadrick says, not at Lyft anymore. Correct. Yes, I was part of the recent layoffs, um, which is unfortunate, but gives me some time to work on my own stuff, which I'm excited about. <laughs> Gotta. Yeah. Uh... Juice's unbuttoning will also be unrelated. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure there's some part of 2S that's like, um, what do zero buttons mean? It means that this shirt is, um, it's just, it's just there, you know? Um, it is on my shoulders, but that is, yeah. <laughs> Juice says simp train. <laughs> Uh, Alexi <laughs> says, what buttons? I just came in and wanted to say thank you. Well, thank you, C3301. <laughs> Appreciate it. Wait, is that, uh, COI6? Maybe it's not Leap. Maybe it's just a cool, cool hex code. Ride the subtrain, true. <laughs> Bryson says, thank God the keyboard is there. Oh yeah, for sure. This, this, uh, my camera's actually cropped too. So it's, um, it's big brain plays there. Keeping my finger on the clip button. Uh, C3301 says, Also really enjoy Anthony Explains. I'm glad you like it. I really like making those videos. So what, what uh, C3301 is referring to is um, I've been uploading a series of videos to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash anthonywritescode, where I explain various concepts that are similar to how I explain in chat, but I re-record them in kind of like one-take videos and upload them to YouTube. So it's, it's mostly just me like going through various programming concepts and like kind of talking about my thoughts on things, little pro tips, other stuff like that. <clears throat> um, but yeah. But I'm glad you enjoy that and you guys should check that out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, do, do, do. Kushimi Thomas says, if you sub to Anthony and Anthony writes Python, therefore subbing to Anthony, does that make you a Pythonista? It could, man, by by association. Yandrick says, sorry about that. Yeah, in a way, it's kind of fine. I got Severance, so I'm not super mad, but... Eh. Severgenic says, Anthony writes code. Does Babby have a go-to definition feature similar to what Vim has? Not yet. It will eventually, but it has not yet implemented that. <clears throat> Your Python brain, brain, brain grows 10x by subbing. Something like that. 
Severance, they cut you in half? No, that means they gave me a chunk of money when I left. Um, right, okay, so we need to clone this repository. We need to we need to do three things. We need to clone, we need to come up with the manifest JSON blob, and we need to zip this up and store it in our data store. So loading the manifest is easy. Uh, manifest equals load manifest. Oh, step path done join dir name c dot what is that constant called c dot manifest file and then we need to tar this up um and after we tar it up, we need to call our storage engine with a source key and a destination key. Oh, a source? Hmm. Excuse me. Elkhan's pointer says, I searched for Anthony Wright's code and got coding with Anthony instead. Oh, on Twitter, my handle is different, if that's what you're, if that's what you're referring to. Because uh, Twitter has a length limit in the name, and it would have been Anthony Wright's COD. <laughs> and I thought that was not cool enough, so I had to switch it up. Um... Cybergenic says, to be honest, the go-to definition in Vim is kind of trash unless you're using C. Yeah, it's kind of trash in like any non-compiled language. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? What did I click on here? Is there a PII here? Well, it's got my Gmail, but you guys could already guess that probably for my channel name. I'll close that. <laughs> um. Uh, oh, you. Oh, is there another YouTube channel that's similarly named to mine? Dwin Surprise. It's not a very creative name. A chunk of money in exchange to, for agreeing not to file a lawsuit. Uh, it's kind of like that, but also what would I sue over? Like, I'm pretty sure employment in California is at will, so if I got anything, I'm grateful for it. I don't know. Kushimi Thomas says, a chunk of money... A chunk big enough to survive on for how many months has this thing been going on for? Uh, so it's been less than a month since I was laid off. But, uh, and my pay ends in July. So, not that long, but I'm probably gonna, um, probably gonna work on this a little bit longer than that before I give up and go back to um, the job market. Uh, Good morning from Indonesia, Python Maniac D. Thank you for the bits, uh, Yavaniel Andrew, who says, Good morning from Indonesia, Pi Python Maniac. <laughs> That's me. Kambika <laughs> um, says, Wait, somebody gifted me a sub? Thanks, Juice, if she's still in here. Yeah, Juice, is, Juice better still be here. You got gifted a sub from staff. How, how big brain is that, Kambika? From staff. Um, Kimbiko, I still have a Pokemon named after you. So, like, almost every time I play Pokemon, I think about you. Is that weird? That's a little bit weird. Maybe it's a little bit weird. But anyway, there's a Pokemon named after you. There's a Pokemon named after Nalage, too. And uh, T-Bod T. Also, I have a Pokemon named after. Sarcastic Dante. I have a Pokemon named after you. But anyway, when I play Pokemon. Oh. Uh, no, it's just another dude on YouTube and he's got long hair and a partial mustache. What is a partial mustache? What, is that, what does that even mean? Uh, somebody asked about Pathlib. Uh, let me tell you what I don't like about Pathlib. I think the way that it does its weird slash operator thing is pretty shitty. Uh, I think it's a little bit too magical. It adds a little bit of overhead for all of your stuff. Like strings are just strings, but as soon as you wrap an object around it, now you got these like weird kind of string things. Also means that literally every API in the Python standard lib has to be adjusted for pathlib. And not all of them consistently implement it. Like some will use pathlike, some will use 
path stir, some will use path bite, some will use a mix of the three, some will be all over the fucking place. Hey, what's up, Platador? Thank you, or is it Plotidor? I don't know. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, but also, like, I don't know. I feel like it was... It's it's a good idea. Like, Path Up is a good idea. If it would have been in Python from the beginning, I would not be complaining. Like, I, I think, I think like, having a path primitive is, a, is generally a good idea. Um, but I think the way it was kind of, like, bolted on to everything seems kind of shitty. So that's 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 my gripe about Pathlib. So slash operator, bolted onto everything, a little bit clunky, but it has some like big positives in that it does pass a little bit better. But those are my thoughts. I do plan to make a video about this. I'm guessing you brought this up because you read my video ideas and it said why it doesn't taste tilly like Pathlib, and that's how we got there. Why does Discord say I have a notification, but it has not given me a notification? We'll just, we'll just leave that be. <clears throat> is that brandy you're sipping? No, this is rosé. It is, uh, there we go. You can see the, the funny window in my room. It's actually a really weird window. It's like those windows that you get at pools where they have like the cubes of glass. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of a weird window, but anyway, that's the window in my room. I missed so much chat. I skipped a bunch. Uh, Juice says, time to make Anthony Wright's COD a meme. <laughs> Yo, that would be a dope emote, though. Juice, can you make me an emote that's something to do with COD? Or get somebody to make me an emote? Because that would be great. Actually, I just need emotes in general. Can you hook me up with emotes, Juice? Juice? I have slots. I just haven't put them, put them in. Uh, the gentleman says, Anthony, the most creative man in existence when it comes to names. Yeah, I know. I don't know. It felt like a good enough, good enough channel name. Uh, Mikhail says, I definitely have to tell you that nothing is so obvious and not useful to anyone. Just so you know, you'll always find people that appreciate it and learn something. Yeah, that's true. Sombrero is still gone. Wait, isn't there a emote modifier for Sombrero? Is that gone? They got rid of that? That one was so good. Maybe it was only for Cinco de Mayo? Sad. Shimitama says, does that mean this temporary this is temporary and we'll go back or not really? It depends. Um, if somehow this stupid thing that I'm building becomes successful, I'll just keep doing this. Which would be cool. But I don't really expect to be successful. I'm more of a realist. And I imagine I'll be job searching soon. But yeah. Kimiko says, you named a starter after me. It was a starter, yeah. I don't actually know the actual Pokemon's name because, to me, it's just Kenbiko. <laughs> like, is that fucked up? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Wait. Wait. Oh, I'm gonna have to read this in a sec. That's a lot of text. Um... Pokemon named after you can be a new tier tier reward for subbing. That's yeah, true. And yeah, tier two and I name a Pokemon after you, but I don't I don't play Pokemon on stream that much anymore. Well, I haven't played since I played through. Um and most of the Pokemon that I play now is super boring. Um let me show you my setup though. Cause I'm like a little bit proud of this, but also a little bit sad. <laughs> so this is my like I do an hour of exercise, or about an hour of exercise every day on a bike machine. This is, I'm on the bike machine right now, um, but I play five Pokemon games at once. <laughs> so 3DS, 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 and then two Switches. Uh, and this Switch is on the TV that's over here somewhere. Um, but I ch grind for shiny Pokemon. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's that. But I don't know where I was going with this. But yeah, most of the Pokemon I play right now is pretty boring. Uh, Michaela says, I have 30,000 channel points. How do I use them to get a Pokemon named after me? Uh, I'm 
I'm struggling between something about Pokemon or Pokemane. <laughs> Do you think she named herself Pokemane to be like Pokemon? It's gotta be, right? Right? It's gotta be a Pokemon reference. Looks like lips when you hold it like that. Uh, oh, it does! Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of weird. Got it. Hashtag not our Anthony. <laughs> C3301, I like how you gifted subs, but you're not even a sub yourself. That's just wild to me. Right a cut. You have empty emote slots? Yeah, I have a lot of empty emote slots because you guys are also generous. I think I have like three empty emote slots. Thank you again, C3301, for gifting a sub to Faki. Too generous to you. Oh, you wanted to get to the top, I see. Now, now you're the sub gift leader. Nice. Nice. Uh, the gentleman says, Anthony drinks rosé from something that is- This is a wine glass! It's a stemless wine glass. It literally bought it from a case that says wine glass on it. It's, it's wine. It's a wine glass, I promise. So I'm, I'm using stemless because <laughs> when I get a little bit tipsy, thank I tip Thank you very over. much for all your oh. contributions. Hey, thank you, Lucrib, for the bits. Thank you very much for all your contributions. You're welcome. Um, I enjoy contributing, so it's, uh, thank you. <laughs> God, I'm so fucking silly right now. Um, but yeah, I use stemless wine glasses because otherwise I spill more. It's better than last time. Last time I had a like actual flat glass and um, <laughs> really, really spilled with that. Uh, Forrest says, aren't Pathlab's join operator just implemented by a Dunder, Dunder method? How's it magical then? I'm just like salty about the operator overloading. You can use join path, which is a function. And usually if I do need to use Pathlib, I'll call join path. Um, then people will be like, oh, I use parentheses and slash instead. And I'm just like, oh. Kayla says, I only know Pokemon names because of furry porn. Furry porn? <laughs> Scooby Does says, oh, that's good. I like that. <laughs> it's not Scooby Doo, it's Scooby Does. Says, you were impacted by, impacted by the layoffs. Yes, I was. I was part of the 17% um, that was laid off from Lyft. There we go. C3301 is now a subscriber. Thank you for subscribing, C3301. Um, Streamlabs. Streamlabs has not figured it out yet, though. Streamlabs doesn't know you're a subscriber. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. Joe shit together. Oh, that means I should probably check this and make sure that... Um, oh, you've been subscribed for three months. Oh. You've been here a while. Why did I not recognize you? I feel bad now. I'm sorry. Um, and now it says you're a subscriber. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. But thank you for subscribing. Appre really appreciate it. Uh... <clears throat> um, thank you, Scooby Does, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Chalmay says, at least it isn't a Belgian bear. They all have their own glasses. Oh, yeah, if you use the wrong glass, at least... A lot of people can be very angry. Yeah, that's so true. I, I don't use the right class for Belgians. Sorry. Milkon Spider says, I'm a wine heretic. Sweet switch stuff. Uh, what do we got? What do we got from? What do we got from Sarcastic Dante? Where did this go? <laughs> uh, yes. She says, man, five at once, how are you still single? What, what are we talking about five at once? Five at once missing buttons? Hey, shoddy, how's it going? Uh, what you drinking? I'm drinking 
Oh, you can't see the label anymore. It's called La Fantasia. It is a rosé. It's real good. I'm definitely tipsy now, though, so <laughs> rip me, I guess. Uh, but welcome. Um, Shadi also streams, plays video games. Usually plays like Overwatch and uh, DVD and what else do you play? We play Minecraft together sometimes. It's good stuff. Yandrick says it's pronounced Pokemon. The A. It's misleading. What? No. No. There's no fucking way. No way. No fucking way. This is gonna destroy my brain right now. Quick but long overdue video explaining how to pronounce my IGN and my name. So my IGN is P-O-K-I-M-A-N-T. Just fucking say it. And it's actually pronounced Pokemon, not Poke I mean because What the actual fuck? Really? Well then. I, I guess, I guess that's the way things go. Shit, I had no idea. I had no idea. Uh, what powers do I get now? You got emotes, Faki, so you can, you can throw up the python if you want. The gifted sub was a happy accident. Nice. Hey, what's up, guide VVVVVV? I'm so far behind the chat. Okay, we're gonna try and catch up in chat. That's my goal right now. Kamiko says, I used to use stemless glasses too about 27, 28 years ago, you know, when I was a baby. <laughs> Tuburn says, I kind of like the slash overloading. I feel like it's a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit. Hmm. Scooby Dad says, Are you in the Bay Area? Yes, I live in San Mateo. So it's really hot where I am right now. I'm like sweating and miserable. Uh, isolated Ace says hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Kristen says he's quite the nerd that creeps on you. Oh yeah. What was that about? I've forgotten already. Short term memory, right? The bottle is almost done. You're right. There's there's not that much left. <laughs> uh, is there a delay? No, I'm just slow at chat. Uh, because you guys have been talking a lot. So, sorry, that's my bad. We're, get, we're getting there, we're getting so close. Uh, power's back, yay for blowing circuits in an old house. Oh, we got like, fuses blown or whatever. Watching Pokemon videos. Her real name, her real life name is Iman. Oh. Is that what the rest of the video says that I just cut off because I was just too mind blown? <clears throat> Uber says, give me back my significant other. Oh, because I took away the chat command from you guys? Or are you talking about Pokemon? Po Pokemon. I hate that. I'm still gonna call her Pokemon. Can't stop me. Can't fucking stop me. Her name is Iman. That's why she's Poke Iman. I can't. I can't, guys. This. This. No. I refuse to accept it. <laughs> I refuse to accept it. Uh, yeah, you can too, Kinbiko. You've got you've got the Python and the, the dumpster fire. Job searching while drunk. I'm not job searching at the moment. We we were actually writing code. I wrote two lines of code and then I got distracted by chat again. Juice says everyone stopped talking until like <laughs> until he's caught up. That's never gonna happen. Uh, Isolated Ace says, "What programming language do you think is the best to get into for learning game development?" Um. Ooh. I want to suggest C Sharp, but I never do game development, so I don't actually know. But uh, I hear C Sharp is good for game development. <clears throat> Damn, fuck me. <laughs> that was my most significant other. Uh, we can all prefix our names with Poke. I'm now Poke Anthony. Do I have to rename my channel now? Is that, is that what we're doing? I pronounce it the same way and refuse to change. Not my fault she spelled her own name wrong. 
<laughs> she says, wait, you're not job searching. So I've been, you've been leading me on about this server world bonus. I was very upfront about uh, my my plans for job searching juice. You you know what's up. Don't you give me this. OK, let's actually write this code. Um, we need to write the manifest last, so we need to tar first. Check call tar CZV, CZF. Sure. Am I going to get a tar command correct in the first call? There's no way. Uh, nope, I already fucked it up. Let's see. And now this is too long, so we're gonna put it here anyway. Okay, so we're gonna tar up the repository and we also have our manifest. So we want to write it into the store, then write it into the database, then update the manifest. So we need to do storage.store. This might fit on one line now. Shut store source is a stir, so that is uh, TGZ, and key is going to be their name, and then we need to write it in the database. So we need to do add repository data store dot add repository image version repo rev name which I'm just gonna replace this with storage key and destination in this case the destination is going to be the same as the storage key and then the last thing we need to do is add the manifest data store dot add manifest image version repo I'm writing some code so that I can then read chat and not feel bad about not writing code. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, we wrote, we finished this function. All right, now I can read chat again. Oh my God, I'm a whole screen behind now. <laughs> no. Uh, hey, what's up, Sloan? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Stanislav TS says, are you a cat's person or a dog's person? Um, well, every cat that I've tried to to, that I, every cat that I've met so far has tried to kill me. Um, and every dog that I've met loves me instantly. So I'm a bit more of a dog person than a cat person. Um, Orson says, I wish I was that drink to be honest. Oh, Orson. Oh, Orson. <laughs> You're not even subbed. Look at you. Look at you trying to like half simp. Look at you. Gun VVV says C sharp is a good is good because a lot of game engines that use it as a scripting language Unity, Godot, CryEngine, etc. Yes. Hey, not Picrus, welcome back. Or not Picra, welcome back. I joined a company two months ago and the tech stack is killing me. Should I just quit? So the thing about software engineering is if you spend two com two months at a company and quit, it looks bad on you, even if it's not your fault. Ember and Ruby and Rails. Oh, that's pretty rough. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to tell you there. I would have, I would have filtered Ember and and Ruby before joining, personally. El Badger says, "Wow, this man is running Tar Command flags out consulting the docs." So I know like two important Tar commands: Tar dash XF, which is extract. And tar-czf, which is, I don't know what the Z stands for. 
<laughs> so never mind. I don't know two attack commands. I just know that they work. Um, uh, person says, chat, take notes. This is how you make successful startup and get cool ideas that give you a ton of money, drink on stream while having fun, and code really slowly. Slowly like a sex slowly. Oh, like really slow. Like that person? Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Kamiko says, it's really easy. It's just tar dash left hand side of the keyboard file. Uh, that's good. Um, Abdal2 says, what are you coding? So I'm building a CI system, which looks something like this. And I'm working on the builder portion today. Um, but the CI system is based on this uh, tool called Precommit, which takes a configuration file and some like linters and code formatter stuff. It knows stuff about Git hooks. It also knows how to install those things and run them across your files. And so this is the kind of stuff the, the stuff that I want to put into a CI system, along with this auto modification stuff. <laughs> Sarcastic Dante says, tar, extract the file. Yes. Uh, tar dash Z ASDF queries diff. It might actually work, oddly enough. OXC3301 says, does Babby support hooks format black unsaved? Not yet. The plan is to implement control T uh, which is code format in, well, it was code format in Nano before they removed it in, Python, in Nano 3. <sighs> um, but yeah, the plan is to re-implement that in Babby. But I have not done that yet because there's only so much time to work on stuff. <clears throat> um, if that doesn't work, try the the fuck tool. Michaela says the cat in Unix hasn't tried to kill you, has it? No, that bin cat has been nice to me so far. And bin bin um is it bin lolcat? The one that rainbowifies everything? That's actually a Ruby project. I have a funny story about that. Um I had a coworker at Yelp. Um he was a great guy, Miss Buck. He was he was a great guy. Um but whenever he left his computer unlocked, we would we would prank him and one of the pranks that we did, well, the first prank that I did was uh, I edited his, so he version controlled his dot files because he was, I mean, I do it too. So he was a nerd like I am. Um, <laughs> but I modified his dot files so that every command that he ran got slightly slower every single time. Like it would add like five milliseconds per command. And then after like, you know, a thousand commands, you'd be waiting five seconds. And I committed it into his dot files, but amended it into a commit from like five years prior. So it didn't, like nothing looked suspicious, but I had edited his history. Um, <laughs> but another thing we did was we installed lolcat on his computer and alias cat to lolcat. And it turns out it's pretty harmless because if it's not piped to a TTY, it'll just drop all the colors. And he liked it so much that he just left it on lolcat. <laughs> but anyway, that's that. Uh, person says I only stub for feet pics. I mean, I could show you my feet. It's basically free for a sub, though. Hmm. Um, also, I'm a broke computer science student. Oh, rough. Hey, what's up, Coda Kane? Welcome back. Um, <clears throat> says, Andy, can you help me with another Python issue? Even in your tipsy state, you are much more competent than I am. Some uh, some some thick praise right there, Cybergenic. Explaining web drivers, is there a way to save the screenshot into a PIL or something so I don't have to save to the file system? There's not that I know of. Um, but we can look at the code and see if there's an easier way to do this. I actually use this save screenshot method in my uh, thumbnail generator. Python uh, three dash m pydoc selenium. Grab dash r screenshot. So we'll find where the screenshot code is in here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get screenshot as base64. That's what you want. So you can retrieve it as base64 using this method and then decode it with base64 to get a bytes representation. And then you can feed that into PIL. So that should work. Um, did someone else answer that already? Four minutes ago. Do you really want me to write a drunk Stack Overflow answer? I 
feel like I don't want to write a drunk stack overflow answer, but the answer is this function. Hit screenshot as. I just knocked on my door. We're going to pretend they're not there. I don't need them. Hey, what's up, Conjure Black? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope your day is going well. Uh, mine's going pretty well as well. <clears throat> Z is for GZIP compression. Okay, cool. Create archive, filter through GZIP, and file name. Nice. Uh, snapshot is linked to the, the community guidelines. I don't think I'm violating any yet. I think we're fine, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Not 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 buying that one. Nah, we're good. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with Ember and Rails? <sighs> Rails is fine. I feel like just Ruby in general just makes me a little bit sad. But those are, that's just me. That's just me. Train catches on fire. <laughs> hey, what's up, Unlux McGee? Hello, hello. Orson says, free feet pics, please, sir. Mm. Stanislav says, how do you amend to a commit that is behind in the history? Uh, you would use a rebase, or at least I would use a rebase. Let me show an example. Uh, GitHub.com. We'll just use this repository. Oh, if I could spell it right. So let's say that I made some change to this file. Maybe we renamed the package to pyupgrade wat. I don't know why. We have this diff, and we want to amend this into this commit down here. So what you would do, or what I would do, is take that diff, which is just this change here, I would write that to a patch, I would remove that from the working index, and then I would rebase on top of this commit. So this caret means one commit before, and this is just rebase-i, so rebase before this commit. And it'll give you a set of commits here. Now this will rewrite history, so we're going to be changing stuff. And it goes from oldest to newest. And so this is the commit that we wanted to edit, so I'll change pick to edit. And then we'll, you guys can still see that, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll exit out of this. Control X, Y, enter. Uh, and so now it will start the rebase and it'll rewind to that particular commit. And so it's giving me a chance to modify that commit. So if you, you know, git show, this is that commit that we wanted to fix, the fixed deletions of variables. Now I can do git apply that patch file. And it didn't work, of course, because uh, it conflicted, but whatever. You could reapply your change here. Uh, I should have picked something that was not next to this version number. That's why it conflicted, because this version number had changed between those commits. But anyway, make the modification there, so you can see git diff here. Then you can git add that. You can either do git commit dash dash amend, or you can do git rebase dash dash continue. Either of those will amend the commit, but if we do amend, you'll see that it writes into this commit here. And then you do... Well, <laughs> my git hooks changed it to an underscore or whatever. Uh, we do amend, and that'll... That'll change this commit, and then you can get rebase stash continue, and then it'll put put you well, <laughs> got a conflict. But anyway, that'll put you back to your state. So the, the answer is to rebase. But let me delete this before I accidentally push it somewhere. Because we don't really want to rewrite that history. Uh <laughs> what did you clip first? What did I say? <laughs> in nano before they removed it in Python nano three. Oh, me grumbling, I see. Yeah, me, me uh, derping between Python 2 and Nano 3. Bad that it was both 3 version, though. The gentleman, I guess, says, Anthony, we talked about this. Use base 94 and not base 64. You're right. Base 94 is much better than base 64. Stripping? I don't think I'm stripping. I'm just... It's hot here. Right? <laughs> we can blame Juice if anything happens to this channel. Yeah. <sighs> Kyle's theme says, are gift subs free if you're staff? No, uh, I don't think so. Kimiko says, I like Ruby over Python, but I also like dogs over cats, so I forgive. <laughs> We're break even, Kimiko. Um, 
Um, and mine thanking Juice for the gift sub. Kabigo says, oh snap, you're in trouble now. <laughs> Umi Jamala says, I prefer, I would prefer Ruby, but Python has too many nice packages. It's true. El Badger says, and this is how people break Git. Yeah, it's true. Uh, that's why I refer to Git Rebase as the Git Chainsaw. Because it is very easy to cut off your arm and leg. <laughs> Parisa says, Anthony is a better programmer when he's drunk. It's probably true. I'm, I'm much more forgiving. <laughs> uh, Forsen says, oh wait, Juicebox is here. Let's be good boys. Wow, I really love your programming, Anthony. Really good programming. <laughs> Chat needs a cold shower. <laughs> Yo, I need a cold shower right now. It's hot as fuck in here. Uh, the John Mega says, meanwhile, in northern northwestern Europe, it's 27C in my room past 1 a.m. That is fucking miserable. It's like 27C in my room, but it's like 4 p.m. Um, I could not imagine if the middle of the night was that hot. I'd just lay there with no blankets. That would that would be my life. Uh <laughs> RKJ with the bang thirsty. It's true. <laughs> wow, you guys. Hungry Hungry Hippo says, Jesus, I step away for a few minutes, few minutes and the audio coming from my computer almost sounds like someone's reading erotica. Thanks, chat. I mean, they, chat, chat does what chat does. Can't really... Can't really change that. <clears throat> but, yeah. Programming and erotica is a good comment. Should I switch to the just chatting category? <laughs> then we can really, really uh, get the, the simps going. Okay, so I think this works. Oh, we need to return the manifest. Turn manifest. So this might actually work now. There's no way. Whenever I say that, it never works. But there's a chance. After we define any indict. Not further. It did the cloning part. That's why it lagged. Okay. That's fine. Oh, not this long. Line is too long. No. Um. That's uh, done. Uh, now this fits on one line. Nice. Like when that works out like that. That should work now. No such file or directory. Oh. Oh. Now if we run this. That didn't work how I wanted it to. File exists. Oh, I needed exist okay equals true. That's why it erred. That should be easy to fix. For some reason, the. Oh! <laughs> uh, I bumped my stream deck. So, hello guys! It's selfie time! Go back to the program right now. <laughs> Derp. Um, but this should be exist okay equals true. And if we look in our storage, you can see that we did create a tar file here. I think. Gzip compressed data from Unix. It's 
um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. <clears throat> oh, now I'm a screen behind on chat again. Uh, something about Denmark, gulping. Jomaya says, just hope we won't get the 2019 summer heat again. 40C heat wave for a week with the houses built to keep the warmth in. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad. And programming socks. Yeah. I'm not wearing socks right now. Definitely not wearing socks. Um. RKJ hisses at Brexit. Yeah. Person says simp cam activated. JB Pratt says, did we get another button undone while I was gone? Well, somebody said I should unbutton a button for each gift sub. And way more gift subs happened than I have buttons. So that's where we're at right now. Um, but I'm trying to keep it within the TOS. We're, we're actually writing code. It's fine. It's, it's, um, it's tame, I guess. Uh, Mermodder says, I didn't know you could be that fast in Nano. So I type Nano, but it's actually my text editor called Babby. But it uses a lot of the same keyboard shortcuts as Nano um, because I was inspired by Nano. But this is my own text editor. You can check it out in the chat. <laughs> Here is 100 bits to redo one button, please. Wow. All right, okay. We'll do one button. <sighs> Which is pretty boring. There's only it's the bottom button. It's not like it makes much of a difference. This makes it really easy to <sighs> hit this fucking button. Jesus, go in. All right, good. all right. And then one button for you, Juice. Are you happy? <laughs> Juice making him redo it just to undo it again. <laughs> all right, hungry, hungry hippo. Juice Box is the enemy of the chat. Get him, guys. I need plausible deniability. I tried to stop this. Hmm. Jomai says, I don't want to see Anthony without a shirt. Would need some eye bleach for that. You don't know, the Jomega. You don't know. But anyway, yeah, I wrote my own text editor. Um, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It works well enough. Um, so... Yeah, but it's it uses a lot of the same keyboard shortcuts as Nano, and um, I have an alias uh, from Nano to Babby. <clears throat> my quotes are "I need eye bleach." All right, bud. <laughs> thanks, thanks for my self esteem. It's just gone. Uh, next, delete a submit button. What? A simp button? Um. Okay, so now that we fixed this, this should populate more things. Oh, I didn't fix the tar command. But you can see it's cloning all the repositories and we should end up with a bunch of stuff in store. And we should... We should have stuff in this SQLite database. Yeah. Oh, that's a mistake. I don't want to do that. No. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's JSON blobs in there probably. Hey, what's up, Ethan? Hello, hello. Welcome to this really wild, weird stream. I promise that this is not normal for me streaming, but cheers to you, Ethan. Uh, <laughs> like seeing Linus Sebastian model for the LTT underwear. I don't know what that's about. Hungry Hungry Bus says, is there an OnlyFans petition going up yet? <laughs> I don't have an OnlyFans yet. Mirror Modder says, big brain if you just write your own editor. Yeah, it, hmm. It is big brain, but it's also small brain because the amount of work that I put in to make my text editor like slightly usable, I think I spent like six months of streams just working on it. Person says, at what age did you start programming for real, by the way? Uh, the first thing that I was paid for programming was when I was, let's see, that would have been 2008. So I would have been 17. The first job that I had for programming was in 2009, uh, which was when I was 18. 
So I've been programming, well, I've been paid for code for uh, 12 years, wait, yeah, 12 years. But I've been paid as a job for programming for 11 years. Hello again, Tube Worm. I have not forgotten that you are still here. Damn, I want to get trashed. Oh, that's good. That's what the petit petition is for, I see. The Domingo says, I thought of making a joke about the editor, then remembers I'm working on my own programming language. See, I feel like an editor is less bad than a programming language. Because at least I'm going to use my text editor. Uh, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry, the gel mega. I'm sure your language is good. Vilkano says, how often are function annotations used? Uh, I use them in all my functions because I use MyPy to do... Um, I use MyPy to type check my code. And Ethan Typing, who's in chat right now, uh, is one of the developers of MyPy. And I really appreciate the work that he does on that. Uh, Jesus Christ, that's the longest time. Makes sense. Your galaxy's ahead of me. <laughs> C3301 says, what about of.com slash Anthony shows fee character limit? Oh, is there a limit on the... I'm going to regret going this. <laughs> what is the character limit on OnlyFans usernames? Never mind, we're not gonna look through that. <laughs> oh, this is a good username. Thank you, Trade Stonks, for the follow. <laughs> Something about the Stonks meme, it's not even like funny. I just really like it. But thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. If no one answers this, I'll answer it later when I sober up. So I'm gonna put this in another window. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, Z Zalius? Biggest fan? Why can't you be my biggest fan? It's fine, it's fine. Thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream. And William HK too, thank you as well for the follow. Wait. Are you the, are you the William that I know? Is that you, bud? Are, are you, are you, are you the William I know? Is that like a if not, that's fine. Welcome to the stream. Um, ba, 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 ba. Uh, you can't argue that if you wrote it in a bad language. <sighs> Man, the shade about Python. I mean, Python is a bad language. You're not wrong. Murmodder says, what's wrong with Vim, Nano, or GUI stuff that you ended up writing your own? So I wanted to, I had like three goals. One was to learn curses and I learned a lot of curses. Um, <laughs> Both programming and not. Um, I also wanted to write something in Python that made it easy to add and remove functionality. And I think Babby has actually done a really good job of that. Like chat has added a bunch of features to it that I didn't have to write. And it was relatively easy for them to, uh, like it was relatively approachable and relatively easy for them to come into the code base and add features to my tech center. And I wanted something that was not written in C. Nano is written in a bunch of C, so it's been like a lot of work to, um, a lot of work to, you know, add features to Nano. And I have contributed to Nano. I added, um, I should show the feature that I added to Nano. Uh, so in Nano, if you, I can't quite see it, but if you do control and the arrow keys, it jumps by word. And this is a feature that I added to Nano. This was not a feature before. But I added that. Um, someone else added this, the, the up and down arrow keys. But I added the side to side arrow keys with control. Hey, what's up, uh, Quacky? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. But it's a huge code base and like really hard to follow C code. And it's GPL, so I didn't really want to work on it. Uh, hey, what's up, Master Chef? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. And the last reason that I wanted to write a text editor, well, one of the other reasons, I guess. Um, Oh, there's two other reasons. I forgot the other one. Um, one of the other reasons is that um, Nano removed a feature that I really like in Nano 3, which is code formatting. And I mean, I'm the pre-commit guy that writes a framework for linters and code formatters. And if you can't fucking format code in my text editor, I'm going to be a little bit salty. Um, 
but I still haven't added that feature back to Babby, so well, it'll happen eventually. Um, and the last reason is because you guys give me shit for using Nano, but you don't give me shit for using Babby, so I feel good about that. But anyway. Aziz Wilhelm says, Hi, why did you leave Lips? Sorry if it's too personal to answer. I was laid off as part of the recent layoffs, um, where 17% of employees were let go. Um, but yeah, now I'm living the, the fun employed life. <sighs> Phil Konao says, Required for MyPy? Yeah, type annotations. Well, they're not completely required for MyPy, but they're required for MyPy to be smart enough about your types to provide you useful feedback. So I put them on all my functions. Jomega says, quite a general programming language, picking some ideas up from Rust, Go, etc. Oh yeah, your, your programming language, yeah. Uh, Tuberm says, try registering. I'm not gonna register for OnlyFans on stream. That's not happening. Uh, not is probably not. Just to continue the rights COD meme. <laughs> Yo, if I had a rights COD em emote, that would be dope. So, hopefully Juice will help me with that. Ethan Deming says, Python is the worst language except for all the others. <laughs> it's true. Kimiko says, I can teach you some curses if you want. Can you now? The gentleman says, Anthony, the main reason I'm in chat is to throw shade at Python and you using it. That's fair. Python's kind of shit. I, I'm fine admitting that. Like, it gets the job done, but it's like kind of slow. And it's really easy to shoot yourself in the foot and have like, repeated name errors and type errors and logic errors and <sighs> where like a real language would probably help you with some of this stuff. Although I should probably be running my pie before I run the code, but you know, that's the way things go. William HK2 says, it is not, ah, oh, bummer man. That's all right. I know William, he's a good guy. I'm sure a good, you're a good guy too. Or girl, I'm not gonna judge. Girls can be named William or on binary or whatever whatever you want to be um you be you be you william uh i think i think people know how to swear but cheers Rocky says do you prefer nano over vim yes but i use babby over nano got v v v v v v says only one real good reason it's cool af pog <laughs> it's true rkj says what are your thoughts on some other license formats so here's my I'm not a lawyer. I anal algorithm, as my <laughs> Twitch clip says. Um, I'm not a lawyer, but my opinions on licensing is I prefer permissive licenses because it makes it more likely for people to be able to use my code. I don't particularly care if they use it for profit or evil, even though um, it would be better if they didn't, but I don't really have control over that. And in order to have control over that, I have to make it harder for other people to use it. So. I prefer permissive licenses because it gives people, you know, the ability to use my code. Of the permissive licenses, there's several different flavors. There's the ones that require you to copy and paste a license to the top of all your files. I really do not like that. So I try and avoid things like Apache 2, which, you know, encourages you to comment your license to the top of every file. And of the remaining licenses, you kind of have a handful left uh, and from those i felt that mit is a good balance between the rest of those uh, mit requires that you copy the license file into a derivative work um, but you can use it for commercial or whatever uses you want and there's no like there's no liability etc and so that's why i prefer mit and so all of the code that i have authored myself is licensed under mit there was a period in time where I licensed stuff under unlicensed, but I realized quickly that it lacks the legal precedence to be used in industry. Uh, mostly because a lot of legal team, like not many things have been licensed under unlicensed and a lot of legal teams will therefore not allow it to be used internally. And the goals of unlicensed and MIT are similar. Um, Although unlicensed is more like do whatever the fuck you want with it, and MIT is at least like, oh, make sure you copy the copyright notice at least. Um, and so I've, I, I switched in 2014. Well, it was only like a two week period where I used unlicensed, but I switched from unlicensed to MIT because, um, because of that reason. But those are my thoughts on licensing. I'm, again, I'm not a lawyer. 
I don't really care about this stuff. I'm not an armchair lawyer. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, this is what I prefer to do, and yeah. Anyway. Uh, Ethan Timing says, Reason 3, I needed a text editor to write pre-commit CI. You're right. Uh, I need a text editor to talk to chat about. That's that's what we're really doing here. Louis John says, So all we need to do is make fun of Babby, and you'll spend another six months making another editor, and it'll be called Vavu, says Kinbiko. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Matias Mota? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Orson says, please don't ever say... Well, now I can't say your chat message. What am I going to do, bud? What do you want me to say instead, Forsen? Uh, gainfully unemployed? <laughs> uh, so Python is a slug with a gun. Kinda, yeah. RKJ says, I was trolling a bit referring to that reason PR. Oh, man. This fucking PR. God, I got so salty about this. It's so stupid, too. Oh, let's just go to Twitter. That'll be the easiest way to show this. Uh... So I range quote tweeted this this dude. Um, it says, well, I guess I can recommend using pre-commit, but not trying to contribute to it now. Uh, because I closed his PR. Um, he made a PR to add these, like, Fucking SPDX copyright license whatever fucking shenanigans to a YAML example in a fucking readme. In a readme! And I don't use this garbage. And I don't recommend anyone else use this garbage because this is fucking stupid. Um, and so I was like, why though? And closed it. <laughs> I probably should have used more words here, but I was just like, you're a fucking asshole. Why are you doing this? No one wants to use your whack-ass software that you're trying to push with your weird SPDX tag shit. And then he was like, blah, 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 blah. And number one is dig into the repository to figure out the license. And I'm like, sounds fine to me. If you're concerned about licensing, which no one is, like, handful of people and they're all lawyers and they know how to dig into repositories. Um... And then he's trying to push this like weird reuse software, which suggests that you put these wacky comments on the top of all your files and like do this like crazy dance to like license all of your plain text files. Like, no one has time for this shit. That's just fucking dumb. I don't care that you wrote a blog post about it. So I was just like, yeah, the point of MIT, you don't do that. You should use unlicensed instead. Unlicensed is not acceptable. And then I locked it, because I was just like, I'm, I'm done with this guy. I'm never going to accept his pull request. And I've devalued all of his opinions. But I closed it. And then he rage, rage tweeted about it. And then I found it like two weeks later. <laughs> and so I, I quote tweeted him like an asshole. And I was like, let me put his SPDX license identifier in my tweet. And uh, <laughs> insult about it. And then he quote tweeted this. And let's see if I can find it. Uh, uh, man, he says a lot of dumb shit. All right, here it is. And then he quote tweeted it, and then a bunch of people were like, "What the fuck, man? <laughs> Why?" <laughs> but anyway, that's that's that salt. <laughs> um, hey, what's up, Marcos Barbati? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <sighs> but anyway, Mumi Jamal says, I would use unlicensed for everything, but I'm not sure if it's legal if I'm using tools and libraries that have some other bullshit license. Possible. Well, Joe Mega says, Anthony, use ISC. It's MIT without the part that is not needed anymore because of the burn convention. You're going to have to explain this to me when I'm sober because I'm not about to start thinking about licensing. <gasps> Nackle Eric, how's it going, bud? Welcome back. I got a Pokemon named after you, too. Unintentionally, temporarily, prematurely retired. <laughs> oh, is that my replacement for the F employed uh, word? Looks like I came at the right time. Drama time. Yeah. He also copyrighted in 2019. Useful PR. <laughs> Juicebox says the real open source programmers of San Francisco coming to Bravo this fall. Yo, I could I could totally make a drama show out of the fucking shit that I deal with. I'll just like take this hashtag that I use. There's there's some juicy shenanigans. Let me show you my favorite one. 
Uh, how do I use Twitter? <laughs> this one was pretty good. Flake 8 latest release is some greedy hobgoblin. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. Uh, where's the one where they took a screenshot of their code and then posted a video? That one was good. Uh, this one. <laughs> I'm having a problem. Screenshot of code. Can you paste his text instead of code so it can be searched? Uploads a video of code. Oh, this should say instead of an image. Oh, there's a typo. God damn it. Oh, well. Whatever. But someone actually posted a video of their code. I was like, oh, this is the opposite of what I wanted. Uh, you quote tweeting in with the SPDX. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty spice. Quickie caught up with chat. Spam it, boys. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm here. Okay, let's fix this Tark Man because I know that's broken. So I was wrong. I did not get the Tark Man correctly. Um, but I think what we want is dash c repo path and then dot instead maybe oh it went down the fast path makes sense that makes sense uh, from prefix import prefix. I think that's where that thing lives, hopefully. Unhashable type list. Oh. How does this work? Okay, well, we won't use a set comp there. It's fine. We don't actually need a set comp. The code might actually have worked. So this is the hook for the MyPy repo. And this is a fake prefix. But the important thing is we wanted to get to language and wherever language version is. Language version. So this is working. Somehow. Somehow this is working. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> I didn't think I would get this working. Uh. I guess Igande says, what's the music? It sounds different. No, this is this is a song that's just normally in the playlist. Here's the Here's the playlist. El Badger says, add more letters. But Miko says, gotta go to work. Enjoy the rest of your drunken escapades. Yeah, we're what, coming up on three and a half hours? That's not so bad. El Badger says, I'm not much of a Python person. Does it really make you use a whole line and repeat a module named import individual things? No, it does not. However, um, I have a style enforced. Importer Python imports. Uh, I particularly pick this style. Oh, it changed my dashes to underscores, of course. This is my only repository that uses underscores, and it really bothers me. I could probably change it, but I don't know what that would break. But anyway, this particular import sorter um, sets up that style because it avoids merge conflicts. Um, so like you can import like this, where everything is on one line. And it really doesn't matter when I'm one developer by myself. Um, but if you're working with other developers and you have like an import that has a long list of things and one developer adds one thing and one developer adds another, these will cause a merge conflict. Um, and it's, I would say like most conflicts in Python are due to imports. Uh, but if you do one per line, you avoid those conflicts in more cases because you can separate out those imports. And so that's why I like this style and that's why this tool enforces it. And that's why I type it out that way. Um, but yeah, it's like a lot of a lot of the code style that I choose is to avoid merge conflicts. So like another tool that I wrote 
uh, called add trailing comma is along the same lines. Um, it suggests a uh, function call style that looks like this, where each argument is on its own line and it has a trailing comma at the end. This is only if the, li the arguments are too long. Um, and the trailing comma is such that when you add or remove an argument, you're only modifying one line. Whereas if you didn't have a trailing comma, you would have to add a comma and then add a line. So you disrupt blame and you increase the probability of merge conflicts. So that, that is the reason for the, both of those tools. Um, and it also drives a lot of my thoughts about like programming and, um, and style. And honestly, who fucking cares what you do? Like the most important part is that you have some tool that makes it consistent. Like, because consistency is, is, in my opinion, the bottom line. Hey, what's up, Quantum AGF? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Elbadger says, makes sense. That's actually handy. Yeah, that's that's what I like when people say when I talk about this. But the other half of people are like, why the fuck would you do that? Weird. Stop doing that. But I'm glad, I'm glad you can at least appreciate my ideas there. Hey, what's up, XO1G? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What is that emote, Tube Worm? That's a hmm, a hmm emote. Uh, that half of people is why I'd not get it past them at work. Yeah. But you know what? I don't really care if other people use the software. I put it out there for people to use it, but I use it, and that's what, what really matters to me. I guess. Something like that. Oh my god, I have seven unread emails. What do you want? Uh, I can mostly ignore these. Well, we'll handle this later. But anyway, where was I at? We got the hooks working. We need to build the environments for them. Uh, we need to pull out the triplets of language, language version, and And what is the other one? Hook dot it's an install key. Yeah. Language language version and additional dependencies. But yeah, that's actually pretty solid. Not Sarsi says, can you give an overview about how a linter works? Sure. Uh so this is a code format, this is a little bit different than a linter. I can show you an example of a linter that I wrote that's pretty simple. Actually, I'll show you one that's dead simple. It's it's pretty dumb, but... Uh, so this is a Flake 8 plugin called Flake 8 Walrus. Uh, you don't really need to know that it's a Flake 8 plugin because it can kind of operate on its own um, if you really wanted it to, but it's not useful without it. Um, but basically what it does is it runs the AST parser and that's what produces this tree argument. So the AST, the abstract syntax tree, basically takes the source of your code and, uh, hey, thank you for the bits, Jimmy Grok. Uh, does that mean I have to do another button? Is that how this works? Okay, well, you, you caused, you caused another button. Congrats. <laughs> we're, we're fighting gift subs versus bits now. Um, but yeah, you compile the AST into a tree, and in this case I'm using a node visitor. This is a like recursive descent class thingy thing that uh, will traverse over the AST and look for a particular type. In this case it's looking for named expr, and it's just causing, it's, it's recording the line number and column offset for that named expr, and that'll produce an error in the output. Um, and that's kind of the basics of a linter, and like you get way more complicated than that. Like Pyflex is several thousand lines that implement similar other things, um, and Flake Eight combines together a bunch of linters to make a linter framework thing, and then then Precommit combines linter frameworks and formatter frameworks to make a linter formatter framework framework. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the basics. Um, I actually. Did a YouTube video where I made a Flake 8 plugin from scratch, so you can kind of follow that along. Flake 8, um, and this is this is actually a pretty good introduction to like how linters work and like how you would write one from scratch. 
And in fact, I, I write uh, I write a particular plugin there. <laughs> Jimmy Grog, thank you for the for donation. Coffee. Ha ha. For coffee. <laughs> That's almost bits. Man, you guys are gonna make me button up all my buttons now. But thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. Uh, GitHub redirects if you rename. Yeah, that's actually why it redirects right now. Uh, Quantum AGF says, Gosh, I love Python. Don't know if I even want to learn more languages. It's pretty good. Recursive chat says, What's X lift engine? Me. I no longer relive. lift. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Grok says, Hello, I'm impressed of your work. Well done. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate it. Uh, Dante says 69,000 channel points. Nice. Nice. Levelbox says this boy doesn't drink coffee paper hands. It's fine. Coffee. We'll drink coffee. It'll be beer. <laughs> but, yeah, you're right, Mindful Fox. You did remember that I don't drink coffee. I drink tea sometimes, but. Basically, only when I go to coffee shops with people that are drinking coffee, I'll like, uh, I guess I'll tag along and drink a tea. Um, or when I'm sick, I'll drink tea when I'm sick too. I like green tea. Um, I don't really like caffeinated tea because it gives me a headache. Um, but green tea is good. I like green tea. Or like peppermint tea. Mm. Some good shit. But I'll drink any tea, even if it's caffeinated. Cause it's it's way less caffeinated than like a um like a soft drink or um or a pop as i would say because i'm from the midwest and i say pop <laughs> um yeah. yes <clears throat> Hey, L Badger, thank you for the follow, even though you've been in chat for a while, but welcome to the stream. Jimmy Croc says, oh yes, I drink also black tea. Black tea is good, yeah, even though it's more caffeine. <laughs> so Maya says, I always pick coffee over tea. That's fair. Teach their own. Uh, CMH says, spicy chai. Mmm. Hey, what's up, Phil Conal? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, even though I've seen you in chat. I really need to say something else for people that have already been in chat because it sounds a little bit weird when I'm welcoming them, but they've been here for an hour. <laughs> but most people follow first, at least. Oh, Fox says Sody Pop. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm I'm all about that pop. Um, at least I don't say Coke. That'd be that'd be weird. Can I have an orange Coke, please? <laughs> because Dante says I usually drink chamomile tea, Melissa tea or black tea. What is Melissa tea? I have not heard of Melissa T. Melissa T. Hmm. Like lemon tea? Hmm. Lemon balm is a lemon scented herb that comes from the same family as mint. I will have to try this. That sounds great. Juice has her own tea. <laughs> you do have your own tea. <laughs> Apparently it's it's lemony. <clears throat> Mindful Fox's favorite tea is Figma Nuts. That's an interesting tea, Mindful Fox. The gentleman says, with coffee, you can only pick Arabia, Robusta, or a mix of both, but the roast is also important. I know fuck all about coffee. I don't know any, I don't know what any of those words mean. I've had coffee like twice. I didn't like it. Okinawa says, usually drink water, but with dinner, I just ordered a mango iced tea. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm usually a water person myself. Um, wine is a little bit different, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Yuswax Hero says, you know, I always wonder why Ricola Lemon Drops said my name on it. Lemon Balm makes a lot of sense. It does. Do I have... I have a 
bag of Zipola. Which actually, this is like the shittiest design ever. Let me see if I can show you guys this. So it's a resealable bag, which like, uh, cool, resealable bag. But at the corner, this is just a hole that goes all the way in. Oh, you can't even see it. Fuck. But anyway, really fucking shit design. So like, if I squeeze on this, the air just comes out. Just like the dumbest shit ever. Um, but this is like a massive bag because I just ordered one from Amazon and didn't realize that it came with 130 drops. Uh, but I don't know if this one says Melissa on it. It might. Mm, it does say lemon balm. But it is. Uh, mm, mm. It does say lemon balm though. Oh, at the wrapper? <sighs> trust me? All right, cool. I'm just gonna trust you. Done. Easy. Easy. Blind trust. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm so bad 99. Thank you for the follow. You are so bad. Sponsored, yeah. Sponsored by Ricola. That would be a weak sponsor. I had your cough tops when I probably had coronavirus. Ha ha ha. Uh. <laughs> okay, I, I will trust you. Y you are named Melissa. You are you are the cough drop. Okay. <clears throat> Ricola cures COVID. You heard it here first. I I have been cured by the COVIDs. Uh. Okay. So we need to make these hooks. Okay, we need to do something separate for local, so we're not going to handle that yet. Install takes prefix version and additional dependencies. Okay, so that's really all we need. Um, leave this alone. Install C2 install equals. Hook dot language, hook dot language version. Does this get tuppled? Oh, it gets tuppled after the fact. This is our like unique set of things that we need to install here. Yeah, I know, pressing tab all these times is fucking annoying, but whatever. It's super fast this time because it caches up. So the caching is kind of working, that's good. <clears throat> Cured by COVID. Juicebox says, you are the cough drop. That is the sweetest thing any dude has ever said to me. If that's the sweetest thing someone said to you, that's pretty sad, Juice. I'm sorry. You're much better than a cough drop. Uh, where are we? That is not the line we're at. See, this thing about PDB really bothers me. So this is the next line that will run, but our breakpoint is way, way, way away from there. Our breakpoint is right here. And so I found that I can put an extra pass statement here, and then this will kind of work how I want it to. So now this, this breakpoint is pointing right at here. I would really love if Python would just stop here instead of stopping here. But 
can't have nice things, I guess. <laughs> My fox says, Simp! Alright, staff posting an image. I'm just gonna blindly trust this one. What could go wrong, right? Oh. Sure as shit. There it is. Sure as shit. Uh, so I guess Dante says, I didn't know if me it was just Melissa. I see. Yeah. So that's the, uh, the family? No, Genus. Genus. Yeah. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Yeah. Uh, two room says, oh, well. <laughs> two, three, three, one says, so Anthony, when are you going to ask Melissa out for a nice cup of lemon balm tea? <laughs> uh, Alfax says, I agree, that is annoying. Hmm. Jemmy says, Sai. Oh, about my tabs? Yeah. Try to compile something in my language, forgot to compile the module it depends on. Rip. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Look at you guys. Um. Okay, so these are the things we need to install. So now we need to figure out how to. How to what? Mm. We need to. This is the part where we need to actually install the environment. Uh, Don't want to override the word all. I want to implement import this guy. So I really hate this block. Oh, did this ever get fixed? If this got fixed, I'd be happy. Ethan! Fix it! <laughs> oh, it's still not fixed. Oh well. I at least upvoted it. But I want I want protocols, I want modules to be able to satisfy protocols is my my ask. Um which currently they can't be for whatever reason. But it's probably more complicated than I expect. But that's why I have this like weird generated block of code here. But someday. Knowledge says, I saw those ascending numbers on the side and got hopeful. Where did you see ascending numbers? What's up, Deuce Too High? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What ascending numbers were you talking about, Knowledge? Oh, the PDB stuff? Yeah, because I typed list. I got too excited. Uh, the gentleman says, I'm at the point when I need to do some stuff in my core library, so I'm getting at the part where I need to implement just what I need and hope that it works. Somehow I failed to compile. I will look at your compiler. That's pretty, um, pretty small. I feel like this should compile, right? <clears throat> Forgot to check a smart pointer for null. Oof. Yeah, that would do it. But anyway, hopefully this protocol thing gets solved eventually. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to run the installation inside my Docker image here and figure out that. Which means I need a fake configuration. I need a lot of stuff. I need a lot of stuff. Lumi Mala says, your language has the keywords public and interface. I hate it already. <laughs> public and interface? Is this Java? <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> How's this gonna work? We need to make a fake pre configuration, which has repo and rev and hooks. That is not lined up. There we go. This needs to be ID, some ID. We need to pick an ID there. And it'll be language, lang, lang, and language version. This is just kind of a hack, but it'll work. And then additional dependencies. So I made this. I made this name intentionally long because I didn't want people to use it, and now I have to use it all the time, so I'm like indirectly punishing myself. So GG me, I guess. I've I've played myself. Hey what's up, Mustang DSG? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um it's not that awful. What should I use instead of pub? XO1G says, hey, how do you highlight your cursor tab space like that? Oh, you mean like where the trailing white space is red? Um, so this isn't Nano, even though it looks like Nano. This is my own text editor called Babby. And I wrote a highlighter particularly for, for trailing white space. It actually kind of is a little bit buggy right now. Um, but the way it works, Babby HL trailing white space. So, oh, I actually finished this. Really? Anyway, what it does is um, if it finds, so it, it creates a highlight region for every line. And if uh, it starts at I and then backs up while things are spaces, this is just like the most efficient way to see how many characters are spaces at the end of a string. And if there are no white space characters, it doesn't return any highlight regions, but otherwise it makes a highlight region and it sets that to a color that is uh, foreground to normal and background is color red. And so that's how that gets highlighted. You can actually do this in Nano as well. Um, in my old Nano RC, I did this. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Mm, yeah, so here's how you do it in NanoRC. You can do color, comma, red. This is highlight the background as red and uh, use the space, the special class of space, uh, more than one at the end of a line. That's how you can do that in Nano. Mm -hmm. But yeah, hopefully that answers that. Zomega says it needs to be public, not a place to drink alcohol. <laughs> and hello again, Mustang DSG. Uh, victim, yeah. I like the word victim in programming. I don't know what it is about it, but sometimes like you know, the thing that's getting deleted, that's the victim. Doopy Pratt says, Anthony and Ethan, if I'm using a library for MyPy like MyPy Boda 3, is the best way to not bundle it all for the runtime going to be if type checking import stuff, otherwise mock it? Really, I'm just using quotes, but Flakeate doesn't detect nested types. It should if you upgrade to Flakeate 3.8. I fixed this in PyFlakes. So the latest Flakeate should know how to do that. And if it doesn't, report a bug on PyFlakes, and then I will fix it. Uh, but it's it's supposed to work, JB Brown. Um, MyPy Boto three. I feel like you don't actually need to import MyPy Boto three if I remember right. It's been a while since I've used this. Like you just install this in your MyPy runtime and use Boto as normal. Unless they did it wrong. They did it wrong. Oh, why didn't they just make a stubs library? Oh, 
Why didn't they just make a Stubbs library? Okay, never mind. I don't know, man. They should have just made a Stubbs library. That way you don't need to actually import the types at runtime. You would just use the Bodo types and it would just overwrite them. It's pretty annoying. Sorry about that. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I didn't write this library. Tubeworm says, slaves, victims, and killing children. Programming is fun. I try and I try and avoid the word slave in programming. Um, you can use agent or worker, and like it means essentially the same thing, but without the connotation. Programming is literally Hitler. <laughs> uh, I've been explicitly doing a lot of the type checking, but I can leave some of it out. I imagine. Yeah. Eventually, you'll be at a point where you can just trust my pie to type check it for you. Uh, it's more like Spata. Yes. Thomas Lab says, do you have any ideas how pre-commit can be used from within an ID or a text editor? Uh, there is a VS Code plugin that somebody wrote. I didn't write it, so I don't know about the quality of it. Uh, but in theory, it's just an executable. You can just call it, and it'll do its thing. Um... But I don't, I don't, again, I don't know too much about that. Babby will have integration for it at some point. <laughs> uh, do I want to keep working on this? I feel like I'm at, I'm not at a good stopping point, but I also feel like the next part's really difficult and I don't really want to think about it right now. And it's been four hours and and look what this stream has become guys look what you guys have done to me um but yeah i think i'm gonna call it here and uh we'll go find someone to raid and i'll work on this on wednesday if you guys want to tune in i'll be streaming on wednesday um hopefully a little bit earlier but we'll see we'll see how that goes but anyway let me do my spiel and then we'll go find another channel um but yeah i upload all of my previous content to youtube that's youtube.com slash anthony writes code I've also been working on these little Anthony Explained series where I you know, answer a little question or two and throw it into a video. Those have been pretty fun to make. They're really easy for me to make too because it's essentially like the stuff I talk to you guys about in chat, but I upload those as videos. Um, and I'm planning to update my stream schedule blah, 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 to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And uh, I haven't done that yet, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So either way, I announce my streams on Twitter uh basically something like i'll be streaming and blah 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 and um then i just do it you know it happens i also announced them on discord thank you sarcastic dante man you're you're on point today uh helping me out with the spiel but yeah thank you all for stopping by let's go find someone to